video. Yeah, are you running it through your browser, or do you actually click on the app? Browser. I just oh, okay. clicked on the the link that John had in the paper. The yeah, thing. then I don't know how that it looks. Says, then. Yeah, it says join audio, so I don't know if I'm in there or not yet, am I? Uh, no, if it says join audio, you sh you're not broadcasting okay. it. Then I should only be in a uh, Discord. I'm not hearing any uh, reverb from you, so assuming you're fine. Um, but yeah, John, see the table we're finishing? Yeah, that's going to be awesome soon. And uh, then we also got some extra money to finish the rest of the basement, so it will be finished soon. Hopefully by the end of summer. Sounds good. Nice to see you again, Joey. Good to see you guys, man. I'm super happy to get to play there, buddy. I, I get to play Hadrian again. Yes. We moved all of the characters from the side Sunday game into the Marches game, so... Nice. It won't be too much of a difference nice. for you, Lewis. Last time you saw Chody, he was playing a half-orc <laughs> barbarian, and well, he's playing a half-orc barbarian. Wasn't <laughs> uh, it the same did you one, one? Kelgar? No, it's not the same. Did you understand what uh, Chad was saying? I gave him my my uh, uh, great sword of life stealing, sure. and then he gave me Lumilar. Lumiere. Lumiere. Does he think he can see in the dark? And I don't know. He can't. And then I put white the white steel sword back in the uh, okay treasury. Okay. Yeah, I'm done talking. Um, everybody else should be too. It is DM time. Sorry, I'm just quickly doing some stuff. Just I can to... solve for you more if you want me to, buddy. Uh, sure, just keep stalling just for yeah. one second. I okay. just want to see if something's going to work. So the town guard that you met with, um, Chi, who um, you know was one of the people who detained uh, Typhon's robot form, um, is actually sent along with you. But when he comes to your company to join your survey team and basically tells you Varn told you on orders that he's joining your survey team, um, he's not wearing the same attire he was wearing before. And uh, it's immediately recognized by Hadrian, who's a part of your survey team. Um, he's wearing the armor of a golden wing, which is one of the high knights of the king of uh, Stormloft, Farker Eversol. They are known as the Great Eagle Riders. Um... He is not wearing a golden cloak, which is typically what they would wear, but he does have a really fine-looking longsword, and he keeps looking over at Hadrian. And Hadrian, your memory of him is very clear, but he's looking at you like he thinks he knows who you are, but he doesn't know who you are. I should gut him where he stands. Go for it. You thought he died. Hey, I was the only one that didn't think he died. Yeah. I was the only one that refused to believe he was dead. I'm not that stupid. Oh my god, what's happening? If there ain't a body, it ain't dead. The rules of D&D. So much noise. Alright, um, but yeah, he doesn't specifically talk to you or anything. He just kind of keeps looking at you. All right, I think I am essentially, I guess, ready. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, where we were left off last time with the Rams had a survey team had come around here to kind of check out and see where the origination of this undead threat had come from by using the skills of Aramil and his ability to work in urban environments. You were able to track him down to a section of the city known as the Ram's Head. Uh, upon reaching the entrance, uh, you discover that it is actually more of an isolated area, essentially a mine that was built out into a city and is known to have a mine further into it. Uh, Entering, you were assailed by some whites and some zombies. They were handled easily. Uh, you cleared out what was most of the zombies 
in this area. We also entered a church, cleared out a few skeletons, and discovered uh, what was listed as an old hideout of a uh, bit of the thieves' guild that had ta had taken root in this area of the city long ago. Uh, you also found a map to kind of give you an idea of the different points of interest in the city, uh, but as of yet, you have no idea where that mine entrance is. Um, I'm going to drop you actually towards the entrance of the city, and you will all be able to start off from there and figure out what you're going to do. So, as you enter the part of the Ramsad where you were first assailed uh, the first time, well, actually, where you'd heard that uh, members of the last survey team uh, had been assailed by whites and whatnot, um, taking a look around initially, you see what they saw, this debris that seems to have been blown out uh, and into a building across from where the gated entrance is listed to be. Um, one thing you're also noticing is that you were told that many were slain and uh, killed as far as zombies and uh, whites, but you're not seeing any bodies at this current time. Um, everyone give me a perception check as we get started here. All right, uh, I'm going to look at the group. Anybody not have dark vision? I do not. All right, uh, you carry a shield or? Uh, my sword has light. Well, my dagger it has the ability to cast light on itself, but. Okay, well, I mean, I can cast light on something if you want, or you can use your sword. I can use my sword to do that. Okay. All right, coming off the start here for Dugat and Chi, or Chai, sorry. Um, you're just coming around the corner where you know this gate entrance is listed on the map. You hear the deepest moan that you've ever kind of heard. It's very deep, and it is very loud. Uh, that's either a creature or the worst undead whorehouse we've ever seen. I hold the party and kind of point to my ears and the direction that it came from. I have a Safe. feeling that... Uh... Divine Sense is going to be about useless because this place is full of undead. In which direction did the noise come from? Um, taking a listen now, what the, the rest of you thought was maybe this wind that would be escaping this sort of gate entry, like uh, almost like this really dull howl. Uh, you get the feeling that it's coming from, uh, let me grab uh, this, uh, this direction, but deeper into the town. Or this uh, sort of mine suburb of Digram. Could we just take a quick pause? Um, I don't think, Lewis, I, I played with you before, so I don't know uh, who your character is. Uh, my character is Hadrian Massa, a thief. A... Oh, you're a thief as well. Okay. Um, yeah. Mine, Shadow, is Tabaxi, is a rogue. Okay, super. Um, I would suggest that one of the more sneaky types maybe. Uh, stealth around the corner and check things out. So. Right, uh, whoever is going to do that, give me a stealth roll, please. Sure, I will do that. Ooh, he's sneaky. Nah. <laughs> I sneaky. And good thing, too, as you come around the corner, staying low and sticking to uh, 
probably the edges of buildings and little bits of rock, you see what looks to be a very, very, very large creature beyond this open gate. Currently standing, hasn't seemingly noticed you, and I'm not 100% sure due to not being able to see a light. How many do you see currently? Um, so we're talking to the north? Yes. I don't really see much of anything. Very dimly I see uh, something, but not much. I'd yeah, have to very, keep it on the corner to look. Very, yeah, very dimly you're seeing a very... Okay. Um, so moving stealthily, you're being quiet. Um, give me... I don't need to give me a perception check. Um, you see these two very large creatures standing there very very large creatures do i recognize them are they humanoid um it give me well it'd be very it's not hard to tell they look humanoid um so they're very very but they're very 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 tall and very large so one would only assume that they are some form of giant um Give me a perception check, as this is kind of off the edge of your vision here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not really. Yeah, you're like, those look like giants. Um, kind so... of looking up into their forms through the gates, like you're able to see them right through. Uh, you moving out into the open, even though you've been quiet, you watch as both of them, their heads shift in what you could only assume is to look into your direction. But they haven't moved. So I'm just going to move quietly back. Um, is Clementine with group? Clementine doesn't exist. Clementine. So, who is your character, John? I am the town guard that walked up and is basically watching Chi. I'm just paying attention to him. I, whatever you're doing, I'm not even focused on that. I'm just watching Chi. Okay, so I'm going to tell the group what I've seen. And they seem very vigilant. So, they're guarding something. Clearly, yeah. You see how many? There are two, and they're very large. They seem giantish. I like uh, killing giants. I do too. But... What do you think? We go past and see if you know, they follow us. If they follow us, we'll attack. If they don't, we'll try to figure out what they're guarding. Yeah, so Jeremy, did we come in through the uh, west? Yeah, you're not currently uh, within the district yet. You've come in from the west side here. Oh, um, real quick, uh, just note, I uh, want to make sure it's... No one uh, requisitioned the map from Stenin. Stenin still has the map. So we came out here to Ram's Head um, without that map. We don't have that didn't map. Didn't she in his post say he took it? Did he? Unless he's going to edit it right now, I don't remember saying that. I remember him talking about the map in it, but no, I don't know. He just showed, showed it. Map. <laughs> well, that was, so, that was my okay. fault. <laughs> yeah. Oh, good. Uh, on the on the on the side note, um, yeah, it just um, the assembly of this group was very quick, and a lot of people said yes, and a lot of people were kind of pushed back. She... Chi, give me a intelligence roll, please. Yeah, you would call for that. Uh, oh, no, okay. I don't remember a thing. Wait, we see undead, though? Like, let's just deal with those. We can just wing it. We don't need a map. We're going. We don't need maps. Yeah. So we could possibly go to the south here or here and try to avoid those giants altogether. Well, they're guarding something. Um, 
Seth's shaking his head and he's got a smile on his face. Yeah. I'd say we go through them. <laughs> what one thing that uh, Shadow you did notice upon approaching this gate entrance here was that uh, right above the gate in this really old stone and it, it just you saw the markings uh, label or do you speak dwarven? Uh, no. Never mind. You just saw a bunch of writing on the archway over top. Uh, everything else you see here. Uh, looks like just wall face, other than that gate you've seen. This looks like what? Just like a stone wall. Like, not wall, but a natural cave wall, essentially. Shadow, did you say there was writing? There's writing, but I can't read it, yeah. All right, I want to try to sneak over, see if I can look at it. Okay, um, are you being stealthy? Are you just walking out there? Obviously, cool. I'm not really So you walk out, attempting to be stealthy, the rest of you hearing the cling, cling, cling as he walks out. Uh, as you move within range to uh, view this archway and read this writing, you do see in Dwarven that it says Ram's Head right over top of this uh, gated entry. Okay, this looks like... Uh... <clears throat> Yeah, it looks like the entrance to the city. Um, I'm going to have oh. the rogues to both give me uh, intelligence checks, please. Checks or saving phase? Checks. Check, you need to check. Yeah. So, uh, what's your uh, character name there, John? Seth. Oh, Seth. And it, it is, are they a ro uh, rogue as well? No. No. No, he's the town oh. guard. Oh, okay. Oh, my goodness. You guys are rolling so <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> I'm so very okay. quiet, just very stupid. I'm going to say, even with an eight, <laughs> Hadron... You would have no idea where, but it was briefly mentioned to you as she was gathering up people that this uh, was also an area where the Thieves Guild exerted a little bit of influence. Typically, they have a tendency to have alternate entrances and exits. Okay, I'm standing here. There ain't no way in hell I'm quiet, and they're not coming at us. Let's go look further down the street, and we'll mark this down as a point of interest so it can be added to the map that these creatures are there guarding something. Yeah, so I guess the trick is to quietly uh, skirt the edges and hope they don't hear us or see us. They well, saw they, us. Yeah, they've already seen me. So. Already yeah, seen they saw him, so that's what we yeah. just walked across. And you can tell for Jai as you're standing there, they're just looking at you. Um, and uh, uh, I don't I'm... leave you. As Dugat uh, passes by just within range, they kind of just, you watch as one of them's vision breaks off for a moment. But then back to you as you remain the closest. Uh, being that I've hunted fiends and demons, would I possibly know what these things are? Um, give me a religion check. You have <laughs> got to be kidding me. This is the worst. <laughs> just fucking, oh, you're just like, oh. No idea what they're doing down here. In, in a place where there's undead, but like they just look huge. Uh, you see this is large be weapons, nice. their hair is, uh, and skin are a very dull color, but those are giants. And it's not, partially to do with the light and it basically being pitch black where they are. <laughs> yep, this is going to be one of those nights. All right, uh, I'll look at the two back there, uh, Herod and, and Seth, and say, come on, go fast. Coming. No, no, I 
he 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 says as you say that no i didn't no he's he saved my life i promise you i swear to you on your freedom that it was not my intention for that to happen i did not know what we were carrying to the tower had i i wouldn't have been so mortally wounded and he kind of looks around what are we even doing out here i don't know I call bullshit on you not knowing. Why? But for now... I'll ladies, you. ladies, you're both pretty. We can fight afterwards. Let's go. I like it. Seth <laughs> smiles and just kind of walks over watching you. And he says, he says that as he's tapping uh, his bag, kind of looking at uh, Chi. I don't know what you got in there, but it ain't nothing for me. Huh? It, if you walk the right course, I guess it won't be. Um, I think I'd like to activate um, the sword at this point, just because Adrian can't see shit. <laughs> so, sword of omens. Um, I cast light on my pauldron. It's glowing. I, I don't know how to change my light myself. I, I, I believe I have to do it. Give me one second. Yeah, if you join the shadow. Uh-huh. Can you go about 20 or 30 in front of us here? Okay, Absolutely. Bro. So, sort of stealthing ahead, checking, you know, for problems, for traps or whatever, uh, Jeremy. Okay, uh, give me the stealth check and then give me an investigation check as you're kind of looking around, checking for traps right. or anything that might stand out. Who's the other one? Harrigan? Adrian. Yeah, Hadrian. Hadrian. All right, so Shadow, you take one side of the street. Hadrian, you take the other. Beautiful. As you kind of begin to go quiet, you begin to take a look around. Um, and as a rogue, having had uh, a little bit of experience with the Thieves Guild and whatnot, um, looking up to your left, you just see one familiar marking and it's faint, it's subtle, and it's small, and it's right above the corner of the door, and all it says is passage. Huh. So, um, right about here? Uh, no, it'd be the one right here. Okay. And it says passage, P-A-S-S-A-G-E, right? Yes. Now, for someone uh, who understands Thieves Camp, you often right. know that this would mean some sort of form of entry into a location beyond. It isn't simply a come here to get passage. This would mean that there's literally a passage to get you somewhere. Mm -hmm. And the placement uh, would indicate that it's in one of these rooms? Uh it would indicate that it is in the home. Uh, in the home, and that's where we're currently, this large structure. Yeah, the one right uh, in front of you. Okay. So I'm having trouble seeing, so I'm not sure if I'm going in the right direction here. Uh, you just, uh, it's the home right in front. So basically, uh, we'll go theater, the mine style. Okay. Uh, do you enter? Yeah, so I'm going to check the door for traps or problems and, you know, definitely. Quick investigation check once again as you're checking for traps. Hugo, what are you What'd you say, buddy? What's your class? Barbarian. So you take the time and begin feeling through the corners of the door, checking for any wires or any fineries or anything that would loose and stand out to you within this door. And you're not finding anything. And as you kind of open it up, uh, you see a little bit of what you weren't expecting. Uh, this area coming under a bit of a natural disaster, you see where there is a hole in the floor currently. Uh, with some debris in it, uh, but it's the shape of it that really is an indicating point. It is essentially a perfect rectangle mm -hmm. with a little bit of wood that has seemed to have fallen in from the ceiling above. So it's a passageway downward. 
Yes. Okay, sweet. I will definitely mention that to the group and indicate that there's there's a way in through here. Uh, let's do it. Let's go in. Yep. So I'll be the first one in. Okay. Uh, upon going in and do begin can you going go down, as we go in? you notice that it is very dark. Um, but as you proceed forward, uh, you would see what looks to be a large rock that half covers this passageway. Um, also, as you're proceeding, looking down and out into the darkness, you watch as there appears to be someone that is at the time, however many of this 500 years before, must have been pinned and all that is there is a bit of a skeleton but you watch as it's the noise that you make as you enter it begins to kind of move and try and crawl forward but is unable to do so hmm. so you say it's pinned and that's why it's unable to crawl yeah it's, it's attempting to it's got like one arm that's kind of coming out and it's like trying to crawl its way towards you. Uh, Is there anything of interest on in nearby or inside the skeleton? Uh, as you look at towards the skeleton, probably getting a little just close enough where you're out of its reach, uh, you would notice it fairly easily as it stands out from its rags that there seems to be a chain and a small stone trinket that even through the time and whatnot has not weathered or uh, corroded in any way. So Shadow would call back to um, Chi and Dugat to help him with the skeleton in order to get the, this chain. Yep. Um, yep. I move up to help as well. All right. No need to go uh, uh, with the tack rolls. The two of you take a half beat to bludgeon and stab and do whatever it is your characters do in order to subdue the skeleton that is pinned, essentially performing a bit of a coup de gras. Um, it stops moving and it just lies there dead, but fully dead. So then we would recover the chain and examine it. Um, is anyone in this group proficient in Arcana? I am. All right. Uh, well, as it gets passed around, you guys form a little circle around it, trying to figure out what it is. Uh, give me a Arcana check. Good enough. I uh, are able to see the outlines of a few runes around the outside, um, getting a sense of the magic and whatnot. You basically are able to kind of read out and determine that this would be able to, it would be used as a key to some sort of passage. Uh, no other real uh, value to it other than that. Probably used on a gate of some sort. I relay that information to the others. Right. Why don't you hold on to that then? Um, so beyond the skeleton, what's for, what do we see in, uh, forward? So uh, peering forward, you're still limited a bit by the dark vision, but just uh, down towards the end of this passage, uh, beyond this uh, boulder that has fallen from this uh, ceiling here in this partially caved in area, looking beyond, you see like it's just a square passage of a chamber, and then it just seems to dead end. This flat stone seems to bar the way. Uh, so um, perhaps Shadow and Hadrian can examine the stone to see if there are any places that might activate an entrance or have a place for the chain key to go in? Sure. 
say it doesn't take you too long, you knowing the shape of the stone, you just kind of brush off areas along the outside of the wall and along this wall itself. Uh, eventually, just on the right-hand side, you find this little circular uh, imprint that is there. Uh, looks like it'd be the exact same size as this uh, little stone on the necklace. Shadow motions to Hadrian, who has the key. Yeah, Hadrian will go up and have a fiddle. Thank yeah, you go first. Um, so, as you press that stone into uh, this little socket, uh, you watch as that stone door just slowly rises. Uh, beyond this area, you see more of a dark sort of chamber. It seems to go another 20 feet before there's a set of stairs based on your dark vision here. Um, and looking, uh, taking a quick gander around, uh, you guys would notice that uh, on the opposite side of this door and on the opposite side of the wall, there is another stone impression. I'm not sure if this key would work with that one. You basically get a sense that this would probably be the way to close it if you were to press it in there again and also open it if you needed to from the opposite side. Are we going to want to close it behind us or keep it open just in case we need to run and run fast? How long did the door uh, take to appear? Uh, like to open? It opens fairly quickly, um, probably within two seconds someone would be able to crawl underneath and it's fully open within five seconds. And that's the case of it shutting behind us. Mm -hmm. If anything's chasing us that we need to run, yeah, that's a problem as well. I say potentially keep it open up until we get back and then close it on our way out. Yeah, leave it open. That's fine. It's a chance, but it's better to take that chance because five seconds is a long time for trying to get away from something. We can hold, potentially hold something for five seconds whilst the door closes, but if we're running fast, if we're running from something enough that we need that door open, then yeah. What is your guys' decision? We've decided to keep the door open. Okay. Yeah. Right, you decide to keep the door open. Are you continuing towards these stairs and to go up? That's the only thing down that hall, right? Yes, sir. Yep. All right. Uh, I should have a general marching order. Who's taking front, second, third? Just give me a general idea. Uh, uh, oh, since we're down here and kind of, kind of in an enclosed area, I can take the front. Okay. As you proceed forward, uh, walking down this uh, hallway uh, passage, uh, you come to the stairs and looking up, you see what looks to be. Uh, wood that is uh, currently lining uh, in a similar rectangle as to the one you saw in the previous room, as well as what looks to be some sort of like uh, handholds in which to grip into. All right, I'll try to move the wood. All right, so as you move the wood, easy enough. Uh, give me a athletic check to see how long it takes you and how well you do and whether you throw your back. Of course I threw out my back tonight. He pulled. <laughs> it's just really awkward and you put your hands in the try to move it, but you swear there's something on top of it. Um, <laughs> um, Turns out it was just a bunny rabbit. Uh, yeah, um, we'll say it takes you a few minutes, um, and then eventually one of the other ones kind of comes in and gives it a little tap, and it seems to jar loose any little bit of debris that might have been uh, holding it bound in there from the edges. Uh, but 
as you walk out, you find yourself in a home, a small little hovel. Most of the walls are essentially gone on this thing. Uh, very wide open. Um, and as you come out, I will just pull you guys over. Uh, you find yourself, as you kind of gazing around, you look out and you can see stone walls that now line the direction which you came from. Um, just gauging the direction it came from. You would assume that you're probably in this uh, area known as Ram's Head. Um, you see that you're in kind of like a cul-de-sac area. Uh, also, as you gaze around, it's not hard to see with your perception check. You swear beyond this uh, large gash or pit in the ground. You see like this blue form just very stilly hovering uh, in place. Uh-oh. Uh So could, what, what do we know about this form? Is, is um... uh, Give me a religion check. Oh, boy. Can we all see the form? Everyone or just... A everyone who wants to. Because Hadrian's got a trigger finger, as Doug knows. Oh, this is definitely oh, going to be one man, of Oh, man, I know. God, I killed it. You're religious. I started uh, glowing from the gods uh, just blessing me and knowing things. <laughs> I would say it's more like the god is just like the, the, that's a g -g 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 ghost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, straight up uh, uh, shaggy. Yeah, straight up it goes into shaggy mode. Um, <laughs> you've maybe heard the horror stories of ghosts, and I'll say with the 21 about their abilities to do possession he already and knows. do all kinds of nasty stuff if they are bad ghosts. You've heard of spirits that are non-aggressive, and this one currently has seemingly taken no notice of you and is uh, acting non-aggressive at the moment. You can't be sure that's because it hasn't seen you. Dugat would probably recall the time when, it's been a while since you played, but Typhon was actually possessed by a ghost. Yeah. That be what is that? Why. Who is scratching their mic? Sorry. Dad. Okay. I'm scratching my computer. I Don't you on do it. it. But it's, yeah. it's very obviously an incorporeal undead, correct? Yes. Okay, I'm going to use an ability just to be sure because, I mean, there is one, but we don't know if there's more. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use Eyes of the Grave. So any undead that's currently not visible, but could be, um, my, I think that's the one. Yeah, I know where it's at. Sure. Uh, you're also te detecting one uh, across the street at seems not to be in the homes directly across the street here but you see a few homes behind there and you're detecting uh one other i pointed out to chi and i say there's another one in there you're detecting two other presents two uh, more over back there. in this direction here i just say there's right. two more over there at this point Uh, I will go ahead and take a couple of minutes. I can go have a nosy if need be. Well, hold on. Let me 60 foot radius from us. Let me find out exactly how many is here. I already told you there's two over there. It's not a competition. Yeah, you feel the same thing. You're feeling the ghost over this way. Um. Uh, and you're also the... you're also feeling two in this direction. Two ghosts. So no other uh, undead. Undead. Other ghosts. You're undead. feeling two undead. A total of three undead currently within that range. No fiends or anything. 
So you're not detecting any fiends. It is purely undead. So, wow. I understanding what he did. I say, was I right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think he was wise to double check with you around the high wind. Just, just keep keep in mind here, Paladin Holy Knight. But the one who's uh, currently charged with a, a crime against the cavern camp isn't the guy who's watching you, okay? I'm not going to lie to you. I have no reason to do so. You uh, lied to me. No, I didn't. And I gave you your freedom. I'm not trying to assert you here. You earned you your freedom. I did not know you lived, and I'm glad for it. When we fought that fog dragon together... You earned my respect. That's why I gave you the statue. Oh, I guess I should have read yours first. I didn't realize it went 60 feet. Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> I'm just... No, that's actually my I feel, fault. That I feel like everybody is is, 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 is is hating me for no reason. Gosh, I know who I feel like. I feel no, like sad. <laughs> Stop hating me for no reason. <laughs> I didn't read the whole thing. I mean, that's... Hey, you can hate Tywin for a reason. No, 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 no. I know you're fine. We're okay. Hugs. But everyone else, you're jerks. So, hey, Here's I've a been nice. To our loyalty. Everyone give me a perception check. Oh, as you're having this discussion of why does everyone hate me? Um, oh, uh, it's going to kill us. Hadrian and Seth, as you're kind of like going over this, you just feel it ever so slightly as uh, some very old dishes on a table just have this slight rattle all of a sudden. And then you hear that rattle once again. Is it from the same house as the uh, ghosts were in? No. This is the rattle is in the room you are in currently. Mm -hmm. But the and it just seems to be getting deeper and stronger uh, every uh, passing moment. But the ghosts, are, there weren't any other ghosts in this room besides one floating up above, yeah? Uh, no, not in this so, room. There's only one uh, about 40 feet, uh, 45 feet off to your to west. Yeah. And then there was two uh, about 50 feet off to the east. Since we know that where the ghosts are and these things are rattling it's probably something really big walking might be those golems from like the gate. giants yeah mm -hmm. yep. I, I personally think we should have dealt with them once we saw them but you guys wanted to walk fast uh, well, they're one they're above us at this point no we should Fair. be on the same level aren't we oh we went up the stairs is that it yeah, yeah. We went down didn't we we went down through a tunnel and then come back up. Ah, uh, okay. All right, Shadow. If you do think your we thing. should go back and take care, well, if you think we should go back and take care of the giants, we can do that first thing. Current threat. Like, current threat. Right forward. Hmm. Yeah. How about the the two um, that we're hearing that you, Jeremy, you said they're over this way. Uh, there were two uh, sensed uh, undead coming from this direction, just on the edge of the range of both of those abilities. Uh, there was the blue ghost form that was over this way, uh, undead as well. Um, you're just hearing uh, a vibration, and I'll say with Hadrian, you guys would know it's coming now uh, from the northern direction. Mm. I'm, I would say me and Shadow have a bit of a sneaky sneak. Stay together so if needs be we've got each other's back. Mm -hmm. and we go have a nosy northwards because that seems to be where it's coming from the most. Can I make a suggestion that's kind of a bit different? Just apologies. They're not going to see you sneaking around, that's true. But they're not looking for you like you're thinking they're going to look for you. They're looking for your soul. They rest in the near ethereal. So my suggestion to you would be very careful in your attempt to sneak up on something that's inhuman, that's undead. Back home in Ignis, we would call these kind of creatures uh, shades, um, shadows, ghosts, spectral spooks, and they're very, very deadly. I, I do not advise trying to sneak up on one. So they're giant ghosts, is what you're saying? Like the big stompy things? 
no, no, mm. those are just undead, I think. Some sort of weird, horrible construct. I'm talking about those, and I point to the house and to the other house. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, the last time I took advice from you, Highwind, I nearly got killed, so... When did I give you advice? I, I, I gave you orders when we last me. Now we... Tum. We stand... Tum. Now we to grow louder and louder. Now we so we either face them or we, we'd retreat. We don't have much choice. Yeah. My advice is we, we face them, but we do so tactically. Staying in this house is a bad choice. Beat them on the streets. Agreed. Um, so there are, are these passageways? Looks like columns. A little bit of columns. like essentially alleys. These are spaces in between homes. Um, oh. Also, do got, I think with your vision there, just on the periphery up to the north, you see what looks to be a large form from where this noise I, was coming from. I point and say another one of the giants are here. All right. Let's well, start getting in position. I, I uh, look at uh, Chi, and I look at his rope, and I say, um, give ha- a line of that to uh, to Hadrian. Let's see if we can't trip it. Excellent idea. Good idea. If it's just walking Good down idea. the street, if we tie it to both these buildings... It'll run afoul of the trip line. Once it's down, Adrian can get to its neck. He's pretty keen with a dagger, and looks like he has a fine one now. And uh, you fellows with your bladed weapons should be able to do some nasty work. I'll hand the end of the rope to Adrian. Adrian very begrudgingly will go with Highwind's plan. Just use, I was going to hide in the darkness. Just use your magic hand. You don't have to go over there. Yeah, As you guys are kind of planning over. this out, I'm going to say all of a sudden uh, this thing's pace increases dramatically. Um, it wants us? Yeah, all probably right. due to the light sources coming from the windows. It's fine, we'll find it on some even ground. I'm cool with that. As it begins to run at us, can I try and firebolt to the eyes just to blind it slightly? <laughs> I look at As Adrian. It's taking the first action. I will say, roll a spell attack for me. Trick shot. Absolutely not. You watch as that fireball. You aim for a really big target, and aiming right for the head, uh, you watch as it's club that is currently in its grip just comes out and bats it out of the way with some surreal uh, amount of dexterity. Uh, can I got looks over at him and Boyd and says, please. try harder. Hold on, can I, get, can I get a bonus action before we go? Please, just one bonus action. Just a really <sighs> simple one. Just a real simple one. Please, can I have it? Sure. All right. <laughs> Fuck, whatever. Seth puts the sword out in front of him and has a bonus action. His cloak just starts furling in the wind. There is no. Oh wind. god! He's like, Boosh! So you have a billowing. <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah. Really? <laughs> I'm going in. That's it. Seth it's goes really and yeah. takes this real dramatic pose, and you can actually hear him mutter under his breath this small command word, and all of a sudden, this his cloak starts to billow and, and furl in this wind. And like then the Attack on Titan or theme starts playing. Oh, right, right it's, exactly. It's, attack on Titan theme plays, sure right? Does, I, I, I like to imagine... I like to imagine that the activation works is just douchebag power, activate! <laughs> oh, I would have given him a little golf clap and say, good job, Professor Lockhart. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll take it. But yeah. Alright, so uh, as this zombie giant has begun to Sprint towards your forms, uh, Chi, you're first to act. You just watched as uh, Hadrian l- lashed out this firebolt and it just splayed across this large uh, weapon, a uh, great axe that the giant is actually carrying. Uh-oh. All right, I will move here. Put my sword away. Try to get my screen to act right. And let's see. 
What I roll? So oh. and four. So sixteen will hit. We will go fire damage for six points. Sure. Uh, you take a moment to uh, aim your hand towards this thing, uh, calling, uh, channeling a little bit of this new energy that flows even beyond the divine and lance it out as a gout of flame flies out towards it, uh, dealing a little bit of damage. You watch as it. it even though the flames seem to burn a bit of its shoulder, it seems very unfazed by this lancing blast. Well, oh, this is going to be fun. Completely unfazed or just like slightly damaged because he rolled shitty? Slightly damaged because he rolled really shitty. Okay. If it looked like he was just immune to magic powers, I was going to say, well, my plan really was, let's run. <laughs> Dear God, <laughs> you just billowed your cloak. You're actually... No, I billowed my cloak. That was a bonus action, too. Yeah. <laughs> I want to try to come to this corner um, and tr try to peek around and keep an eye on him, but not fully out. Um, kind of hiding, not really, but kind of hiding a little bit. You're just moving into a full cover. Do you take, do you take a quick glance out? Yeah, um, I want to take a glance to see where he's coming, um, and then, honestly, that's going to be my action to like see what he does. Sure, it seems like he's moving very aggressively towards the places where he just got damaged. You can see that you know, with its dull face is now this weird, and from what you can tell at this range, undead grimace, and... Uh, you watch as this gout of flame just wait, splayed wait, 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 across wait. its shoulder, and it's continuing to run towards hold on, hold uh, on. that direction. He's, yes. a, he's an undead grimace? Yeah, you can see... Uh, no, 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 like the, the, the McDonald's thing? <laughs> yeah, he's an undead I was just, just thinking it was a hamburger. He's a big <laughs> purple monster. No, I got I'm what you're saying. I'm just being a twat. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Hey, there's this guy himself to look invisible, and he's fucking off. <laughs> I will I make this. I, I will make this crazy. token. You be you oh, no. better believe it. Oh, but John's cape is still billowing. It's still, <laughs> still, still billowing. billowing. Right. It doesn't actually say a duration. So I just okay. It's um, going to billow until I decide oh, otherwise. Boy. I'm gonna uh, go ahead and just hold until that's gonna be my my turn. I'll just say that's okay. my turn. You're just holding uh, I have my. I have my axe out and ready um, to move around and attack next round. Sure. Dodge. Uh, Dodge. Oh, I forgot something on my turn. So never mind. Chody, if you're taking a turn and you're not using an action, just say you're dodging. I'm dodging. Yeah. Cool. Just you, in case he comes you, to you're your prepared house. to dodge anything in case it comes towards you. Um, <clears throat> Chi. Um, Okay. This creature that is charging towards you, as you watch as it kind of goes sideways and it scoops its hand down into the ground uh, off to the side, picking up one of these stones that seem to uh, line the side of the road here. And it is going to then throw it at you as it continues to run in your direction, great axe in its other hand. Okay. Oh, this is going to leave a mark. 24 to hit. Uh, believe it or not, it actually does hit. All right. So it pulls up this big rock and it throws it at you with a, probably a speed that you were unprepared for. And it smashes into your armor and kind of sends you for a whirl for a moment. Uh, you take the 21 points of bludgeoning damage. And then it continues to run at you, now bringing up its grave, seemingly to come and strike you down. Shadow. Uh, I had mentioned that I was hiding before he came, so to Sure, give me a quick stealth roll for uh, that. Not that it matters, but... <laughs> It might, depending on what you're planning on doing. 
Sure, you're well hidden. What would you like to do? Uh, I'm going to pop out of cover, and I'm going to fire Ring of the Ram. I will use one charge. Leave has to make a strength save. Oh, as you lance it out, this magical energy flies out in the shape of a ram's head. And just as it's bringing down its axe, you watch as it hits uh, the ram, and you just watch that ram magic just split into two pieces, and then just the sparkling glitter bomb just seems to dissipate out, seemingly unaffected. And I'm going to... Um take movement and just sort of go behind the other side of the column. Sure. Uh, anything with your bonus action? Hide. Okay. You can roll me a stealth roll again if you like. Sure. Set. So I'm going to go ahead and just uh, I presume this is undead, so right? Yep. Go ahead and uh, not that I'm detecting it, but I'm just going to step out and kill it. Yeah, taking a very close look at it, you can see where muscle and whatnot show, and it's black, it's rotted. It'd be very easy at this range to tell that it is undead. Cool. Um, I bring Dragon Eater to bear, and I'll just slap it with it. Get one of those. Nice. So Four definitely hits. It'll be a total of 14 damage because it's undead. I do two okay. extra damage against Undead. Okay, you come in and you take your first swing at it. Uh, your Only blade. Side. Only yeah, side. you're oh yeah, you're sorry, you're oh, and you take it down around trying to aim uh, for an ankle, any sort of ligament that would maybe help cripple this creature. Uh, it's made of some tough stuff, so your blade is able to get in a little bit better due to your mm -hmm. ability to fight Undead, um, but it seems. A little unfazed. You see its arm as it comes to notice you out there is now swinging in an odd direction like it's about to golf swing hit you. That's fine. Um, as it's whatever doing that, um, I look back at Chi and I say, uh, take its attention. And as I do so, I say a quick prayer to Saint Averio and cast Shield of Faith as a bonus action on him. Which should be on my list, but it's not on my list. Strange. Um, I'm going to add it to my list because it's supposed to be on there. It's all right. Roll 20 is the thing. <laughs> that enough. hates everyone. It's plus, <laughs> it's plus 2 AC. Yeah. Got you marked with the red dot to indicate said. Hadrian, on his turn, is just going to duck out of cover quickly and go, Hey, friend! Okay, is that all he's doing? Oh, Cash, charm, person. charm person. Um, now this is technically considered a giant, which does not fall under humanoids. It's technically what? correct. It, even if it were an undead, it wouldn't fall under humanoid. Yeah, it wouldn't fall under. I'll let you roll quick. Roll a religion check. For me, Hadrian. You're thinking about it for a minute, and you're like, oh, I have the thing that will right? Um, and you're like, I could charm it and make it our friend. And as you step out, you take one glance at it, you're like, this isn't undead. This isn't going to work. What am I going to do? So what is Hadrian doing now that he realizes that there's no way charm person will work? He'll run here. Oh, he doesn't care about high wind. Cool. But you gain sneak attack because I'm there, so. True. We fought bigger things than this together before. Shove you piece of shit. <laughs> I'm just saying, we should probably be friends. Oh, natural one. Failure. Toothless? What's toothless? It's a dagger. It's yeah, the dragon from uh, 
that one show. <laughs> the, dra- the dragon that we killed together, he made, or his friend uh, Gimmits made a dagger out of it, and uh, that's that's what they call it. Well, okay, so, like on high wind. So, <laughs> what you know, you okay, so uh, are both you you're that. making one with your one hand, one with your off hand. Okay, gotcha. So you come in and swing with your sword, and you're a little distracted by Seth as you kind of bring the blade over his head in order to strike this uh, undead. Uh, He ducks out of the way, but uh, this causes you to kind of get distracted and just hit a blunt bit of bone that is currently sticking out in uh, from this uh, undead giant's knee. Uh, You quickly spin around and bring Toothless, your blade, down into its uh, ankle, kind of tearing out towards the Achilles. Um, Roll me some sneak attack damage as well, as 19 definitely hits. I can't remember what my sneak attack damage is. Should be 3d6. Should be 3d6. Should be able to just click the sneak attack tab and should have it in there. That'll work, 11. Uh, I can't remember. Can you use Divine Smite on a ranged attack? Not a Divine Smite. Oh, so you can't use it on range? Or... Nope. I couldn't. Why would you want to attack at range? Well, I was just wondering. So it have to hand. get close to the giant just, just throw a big just, stone at him. I just cast Shield of Faith on you. It's like. Yeah, I know. I was thinking of. I'm going to stand back here now that you guys are up there. <laughs> I said, hey, hey, protect us. Nah, psych, I'm just going to let you die. She still realizes that that's still... I don't know if I want to get hit by an ass. Alright, uh, um, bonus action. Ah, sorry. Bonus action. I'm activating uh, Thunderous Smite. Okay. On my hammer. Uh, I'll move up here. So that's what seven he definitely hits. Bludgeoning. I mean, the 2d6. I believe it has to make a strength saving throw. Thunderous Smite. And I'll go ahead and hit it with uh, uh, expend a spell slot and do an extra uh, 3d8. Yeah, so 3d8 plus 2d6. Nice. Uh, Nine. You're definitely its biggest friend, fan. You got to roll those 2d6 because, yeah. Yeah, we need a 2d6 as well. Cool deal. 30. Nice. Uh, you also need a... a uh, which spell slot were you bringing? Just a level one? Just a level one. Okay. Good. But since it's undead, it gets that extra one to get. Yeah. I was just making sure you rolled as much as you needed. Um, cool. Uh, gee, you run up this glowing energy about you, and you slam your sword into its form. All the while, uh, sorry, yeah, you slam your hammer into its form, uh, kind of jumping up to crack it in its thigh. And as you do so, uh, trying to send it backwards with this thundering sound that echoes through this whole giant chamber. Feeling yep, that they really don't know we're here before we're now. <laughs> Uh-huh. Long hair, don't care. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, yeah, uh, anything else for your turn? Uh, yeah, I will attack again. Please do. Take another swing with your hammer after hitting in the hip, aiming out towards the knee uh, just as its hand reaches down and bats away your uh, hammer just before you. that, hold on. Be able to propel it at all. Uh, I had a plus 10 to my roll, so that'd be a 21 to hit. All right, 21 definitely will hit. Uh, 
And you channel your divine faith. I will burn yeah. another spell slot. First level. For oh, another 13 points. Three, six, 13. Cool. And with unnatural speed, as your ha hammer is about to be knocked away uh, from this giant undead creature's uh, form, uh, your hammer accelerates just drastically, channeling your divine faith. It just slams its hand and almost sends this creature whirling as it's unprepared for the amount of force that it gets hit by. And that's it for my turn. Do God, you've just watched this creature uh, run past you from where you were peeking out. And it sounds like he's currently engaged. You've heard this loud thundering sound from uh, Chi just striking it as you're coming around the corner. Chi hits it again, kind of sending it, sending it a bit for a whirl. What are you doing? I'm coming around and swinging. Oh. Uh, 13 will not hit as you go to strike at it. It's this whirling motion causes it to kind of go balance and bump into you right before you get your swing out. Okay, I'm going to use my second attack. Nice. Oh, yeah. I, you rebound, uh, planting yourself and able to bring your uh, sword down to hit it again. Does that include your orcish aggression? Nope, um, but I will go ahead and do that, though. Please do. Uh, you slam, uh, recovering, you slam your great axe into its leg. Uh, and you watch as it buries in a few inches. This thing seems to be starting to waver ever so slightly with the amount of blows it has just taken from you guys. Anything else? Uh, no, nope, that'll do. I'm going to uh, be right back here. You use the restroom. <laughs> okay. Attack him. Okay. <laughs> you want me to stay? No, 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 no. <laughs> T. It hits uh, real. It's great axe back. Well, actually, I said, uh, Seth, you're going to take the first one as it was preparing to golf swing your form. And then it's also going to hit Chi. Oh, suck it. Um, 35. It just comes back after just being blunted from multiple angles, your cloak billowing in the air. You find with its death speed that as it swings like golf, you try to I take block. the blow. No, I block it. It just hurts all of my arms and body. It and just hurts break everything. It. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I'm still standing, so. Yeah, you're definitely still standing. You get knocked back a few feet uh, having no. taken this blow. I don't, I don't want to move it's... from it. I want to stay right here. Does it really well, not no, You don't move from it, but it's it's all flavor. Come on, man. Yeah, that's And fine. as uh, well, it wheels back around Chi or Chai, Oh, gosh, dang Feast it. Your famine. Oh, damn, that just barely misses. Yeah, hold on. So it's attacking on that attack. It's not including me in that attack, right? That second attack? No. So I'm going to hit him back. Fucking asshole. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm going to go ahead. Does that hit? No, wait. I got 12. Can't. Yeah, 12 probably doesn't hit. 12 does not hit. That's fine. It's only 15 damage. I'll be okay. Yeah. I'm not going to spend my inspiration for it. You try and slash uh, at it, uh, but it's still just your Hold arms are a lot more sore than maybe what you were expecting. It's fine. I'll get it on my turn. Shadow. Yeah. Shadow will pop out of cover. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Um, can I, in, in, same space? Five. Can I attack from this space? Yeah, sure. I'll say why not. Just give me an acrobatics roll. What you doing? Sure. Huh? What you doing? Well, watch out, there's a camera. Uh, and a cat. Uh, badly. 
Yeah, and then I have an I have an offhand attack as well. Oh, there we go. I sure. made the acrobatic. You come in definitely from down low, but uh, that just gets in your way and not where you're up. <laughs> Drive like, your yeah. blade uh, like, high enough. The, uh, using your acrobatics, you're able to color. wheel around a bit yeah. with your offhand. <laughs> There we wow. go. Roll me some sneak <laughs> attack damage. That's what I was waiting for. Does that get doubled? Uh, uh yeah. There we go. 13, so 26 plus uh, 6 and 4. Yeah. More than enough. You wheel around at this point, seeing that it's uh, not doing well. Uh, I'll say for the sake of flavor, you just see this moment where you have an open shot uh, towards its skull looking directly up and you just let your dagger from your hand and watch as it spins and spins and just strikes underneath the skull and you watch as it just then goes down to its knees and then falls forward uh, towards you. As I assume all move out of the way. Yeah. Uh, you retrieve your dagger. Wipe it off. And kick Wipe it. it off. This dark grossness. Uh, but are we out now, of as you guys are standing there in the darkness, once again, you can hear these loud, resonating foot pattern steps coming from the left side. And they are seem we, like they're getting closer. Are we falling out of initiative or are we staying in it? You're falling out of initiative. Okay, well then the first thing... If you thing want I'm... to... If you can make quick decisions, yeah. maybe we should stay in, the, stay in initiative because you guys weren't really doing that before. Um, hold on a second. I'll go ahead 21 and, points of lay on hands. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and kill myself. I'm going to try to. There we go. So, Seth, you go heal yourself. Self? Who's on top? Uh, Is Shadow on top of me? Yeah. I, 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 I occupied his space. I'm going to move out of the way. Get off of my head. <laughs> I was busy doing cat stuff. Had you you watched that shadow slid underneath your form, tried to stab low, and then released a dagger we could have, from under your guard. We could have done something shadow. cool, because when on, on the backswing when I missed, I could have held the blade, turned it flat. You could have jumped on it, and I could have thrown you up to it. Uh, that would have been cool. Ball. But You know what was way cooler? Was shadow doing it all on its own. No. There you go. <laughs> no, being friends is better. Yeah. I'll remember that for next time. with high wind. I'll go ahead and heal myself again. All right, so you hear yourself, but what are you guys doing? We're going to an initiative. So who gets to act first if, if we're still in initiative? Uh, you, it if, was it's just down our left, if it's coming from our left, get, get the rope across this opening. Let's try to draw it through this opening. Um, Everyone roll me a perception check. Pretty good. Uh, yeah, uh, Seth, maybe you're the only one, you're the only one who can, this doesn't sound like one of them. This sounds like two, three. Sure. Yeah, it makes sense. Uh, does it sound like they're coming from the guard area? Like where the gates were? You would be able to gauge that that's about where they're coming from. And do I know from a path that we walk that we could get around them quietly if we move stealthily, get to the gate and pass through it since they're no longer guarding it? All right, so you guys already, uh, one thing you would have been able to determine already before is that you're already within the gated area, which is why they're probably coming towards your direction. Right. At least, uh, but they were standing guard over something specifically right inside of the gate. We may be in the gated community, they, but now whatever they're guarding, they're no longer guarding. Uh, they were guarding the gate to this community. So we're doing a shit job going. of it if we're already through. Well, they didn't know about the secret passage. Well, all right. I'm gonna I'm gonna call their they manager. Get through there. I'm gonna call their manager and make sure that they're aware that the uh, the guards they have are <laughs> shit guards, and they need shit to replace them shit guards. with better guards. Rent a guards. And while they don't have guards, we're gonna go ahead and sneak through. No, uh, any. <laughs> um, we're gonna sneak out. Okay. Yeah. So I would say two, maybe three, and also I'm still in detection mode. So if there's 
within 60 feet of me, I think that lasts for quite a while, then uh, I would know they're there. Yeah, and actually, you're now detecting three to your immediate east. They haven't moved due Not to that noise on okay. from Chai's attack, though. The ghosts, you mean? These are ghost-sized ones? You don't know. Uh, do you know specifically what they are? Hold on. Or just that they're undead? Eyes of the Grave. Until the end of the night. 60 feet. Isn't protected from divination magic. Doesn't tell you anything about the creature's uh, capabilities or anything. You know they're undead. Okay. And it actually, it doesn't last that long, so I probably don't have it. So I'll just, for, for shares... See sakes, I'll say I used another use of it, so I only have one left. Sure. I said. You're now detecting three. Um, you're not detecting, uh, and you're still detecting that ghost. Okay. Off to the west. Uh, you guys are all here. So, Seth, what are you doing? I say there's more coming, and I look at Chi because he's the leader. If we all die, it's his fault. It's what leaders are for. <laughs> Get the rope across. Let's try to trip them as they come through. Out of character DM note, isn't your rope a rope of, uh, uh, it doesn't, doesn't it automate? Yeah, just have it do it yourself. You don't have to, that's all you would. We can position ourselves then. Yeah. I'll position myself here and send the rope across. And the other thing about that rope that you can do too is if you set it on the ground so it's perfectly flat and it doesn't look like a trip wire. With your command action to move it, you can cause it to force up to become taut and straight and triple trip wiry. Okay, that I did not. Know. Your rope is basically a snake that you command. The only thing it can't do is Sweet. entangle people. Well, it can if you tie it around them. Well, yeah, like a regular <laughs> rope, could, sure. But there's actually a rare magic item that does the, the entanglement. Rope of entanglement. Yeah. All right, I want to lay it across the. How's uh, it's uh, sixty foot long? Mm -hmm. So I actually lay it across both of these. Who's comfortable being bait? You know what? I will be bait. Who's comfortable? No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. I'm looking at Andy actually. Who's comfortable being bait? Uh, sure, I'll do it. Here's why I say that. You're faster than I'm everyone fast else. Fast as hell. You take less damage than everybody else from non magical sources. Yeah, I know. Yeah. So, I can quickly do something as well, um, if everyone's fine with it. Sure. Well, I just yeah. like, We're in the ready across the floor. Oh yeah, cause I'm a bit of a slip. Just in front of the rope, so they're gonna slip, hit the rope, and definitely land on that. I'm ass. down. I mean, if he's cool with that, yeah. If the DM will allow yep, that. Yep. Um, but yeah. Sure. We'll... Draw me a little line wherever this. Ro I'm gonna say like between these two houses, and then we hide behind these houses here and here. And then Shadow just stands here and basically says, "Look at me, I'm a cat." And then when they go, ah, ha 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 ha, they yeah, trip well, over, yeah. they trip over the wire and they fall down. And then we rush out, we just start smashing them when they're down. We ready our actions to step out and smash. And then once they get smashed, we win the day because they're gonna come from this direction, right? Like the other one did. No, you said they were coming from the, the west. The west. So, uh, uh, as you guys are kind of planning this out, you hear that they're. They seem to be coming via the road. The road, yeah, see? Right, so they're going to come. Okay, they're, they're, they're big. They're going to lumber through the road. So, yeah, just set the rope, like, here. And then um, the ice, like, right in front on the road. And then we're going to stand behind, like, in these buildings over here. And then we're just going to smash them. And then we go and hide. All right, let's do it. Rope's out. Distraction? No yeah, way, well, so. no, you're, you're just standing back, like, at the end of the road, and just basically go, I'm a cat, I'm a cat, look at me, I'm right, a cat. You guys are dicks, you can't do anything, right? I'm a tree, I'm a tree, I'm a tree. I can do it. Cat man. All right, get hidden. Everybody, go, go, go. All right, y'all get hidden as you're doing. Cool, let's do this. Uh, so I'm going to ready in action when I see them coming, I'm going to... When, when they get close, I'm going to sprint back and out of the way. Yeah, I'm standing here so I can see the rope. Good. That's a good That's a good play, because when my cat runs away from me, I want to go grab it, too. So that'll work. Can you roll the description of the rope for me real quick? <laughs> it's basically just a rope. 
it it just it, he it's an animated rope effectively yeah i'm just trying to determine if it's like it's going to be able to resist a uh, a giant leg has an ac of 20 and 20 hit points now, real quick okay it can hold up to 3000 pounds if it 3000 all right that's good to know if a tow cable can knock over an ACAT. This plan's gonna work. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Sure. sure, why not? This will. I didn't think you guys would fight three giants today, but fuck me, right? Hill giants are weak sauce, and they're just undead yeah. hill giants, basically. Hill, yeah, hill giants are pretty weak sauce, aren't they? That's that's what these are. I haven't been late in a while, but I still got some standards, so I'm gonna pass on the whole fucking. What? Hadrian's not got late in a while. Hadrian will fuck no. the hill giants. He said fuck me, and I was like, no, no. I got standard. Fair enough. Uh, too far to travel for that, I'm afraid. That's across the pond. You have to be right. worth it, man. More jammy. So, turn right. order, this okay. is what we're going to do. We're going to start it over and just go from this point as you watch them rounding the corner. Oh, gosh, it won't even see everything because there's a dead freaking uh, giant in the way. It's going to run over the giant and it's going to hit the ice and the freaking rope. It's not even going to see it. It's brilliant. This is yep. a good plan. It's brilliant. Bad. This is the good, a great plan. Great plan. Go wrong. Shh. Redundancies. Shh. It's going to be great. And we got surprise on it, so we have advantage. Ooh. And I've got a trick up my sleeve, which is going to make the rogue hit real hard. And oh. if it's prone? Forget this. This thing's dead. Actually, fuck that. You know what? I need Chi to be the first person to attack. I need Chi to be the first person to attack after me. Here's the plan. When it hits the ground, right, I'm going to cast a thing that gives uh, it vulnerability to any damage it receives from the next attack it gets hit by. He's going to pop a Divine Smite into it and just obliterate it. I could find a way of hitting both. Yeah, but like if he hits Gee, one of them, what are you doing? I am waiting for the thing to come across the room. Okay, I need you to either give me an action you're holding, uh, or so give me something to just know what you're doing. Well, I got to wait for the command word, so I'm waiting for it to get close. So I can give the command word to the rope. Okay, so you're holding your action to express the command word to make sure that it goes taut. Yep. Do got. I will wait until the giant falls, and then I'm going to move in and attack. Okay. Dodge. Uh, <laughs> Shadow, what are you doing? Uh, uh, I'm readying an action to run when they get close, and then I'm going to yell, I killed this bastard, you suck. Cool. Point, pointing, uh, waving my sword and pointing it at the, the, the dead giant. Brilliant. Sure. Seth. Wait, there are three more, or is that one just still on the initiative counter? There are three more. I had specifically said that whoever rolled that highest perception, that you, you three said... sets of footsteps. Fair enough. This plan's still good. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> this plan no longer works at all. Uh, this is just, I'm just put for the record, John is playing an NPC. We're playing uh, our characters. I'm looking across the uh, the street at Seth and just flipping them off. <laughs> hey, this plan's going to work. I told you we couldn't trust him. Plan's going to work. This isn't Clementine. Clementine wouldn't have gone for this. We wouldn't have even been here. <laughs> right. That's what I mean. She would have been like, and I also want to quickly preface something. Those of you that have light curves, Anything to hide it. Oh no no no! I I, 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 I I totally have my light going. Like it's it's on. Okay. So do I. Sure, cool. Sweet. Um. So Seth, you got your shit prepared. Perfect. When I see hey, it, Graham. when I see it, whatever it is, if it's within thirty feet of me, I'm gonna can or I'm gonna use my channel divinity path to the grave. Which means the next time it okay. gets attacked, it has vulnerability against the attack's damage. Oh yes, it does. I'm, I'm gonna make I'm gonna make the cat sparkle. Great, that'll help when I'm trying to hide. It's only like for a second. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, you uh, you illuminate like a glitter bomb there, and all eyes are on you as. The Giants begin rounding this corner. 
Yeah, keep in mind, there may be lights and all, but there is a cat yelling, I killed your friend, bitch, come get some. Well, so, as, they so you, as they see you, are you running immediately waiting? So it depends on how, I mean, I'm going to make a judgment that I could outrun them. And I'm going to make a quick thing. You're watching as this one is begins to dip its arm down towards the edge of the road. Then I'm going to start running. The then I'm going to start edge. running because I know he's going to throw a stone. So And, and I'm going to be running south, and then I'm going to dodge east. Like, I can go quite fast and quite far. Sure, so yeah. Off the screen. Yeah, to backseats. Yeah. All right. Giant's turn. Why not? I'm going to give him... Uh, so... These are some smart com undead. Command word as this thing runs. I'm just going to get rid of this token. Right. Command word is said, and there's some ice. Um, I'm going to do two deck saves, I guess. Awesome. It eats shit immediately, and then just plows into this rope. Um, uh, Chi, get get it. Just go. It's, it, if he it, said it, it fell, just go on it. I need you to... Chi, I need you to uh, also, just for fun, because I'm going to say it falls and then slides into this rope that has 3,000 pounds of pressure. Give me... Roll me... 3d8. Why not? Hey! It's just guillotined itself on the rope. Oh, shit. Uh, <laughs> you watch as it just slips, falls, and then with mouth open, that rope just drags up into its jaw oh. and causes it to unhinge. But Chelsea grin on it, dude. Oh. Chelsea's <laughs> yeah. Um. So it's fallen at this point. These ones continue to move forward. Oh, wait. It fell, though, right? It fell. It's it on the fell. ground. And it's, like, partway buried into the rope. It's got it in its mouth right now. Everybody should be smashing them. Yeah, we and already uh, So, yeah, give me she, your turns, please. She should go first and should spend the highest level as might he can. All right. Now, technically... Wasn't an attack. Wasn't an attack. Nice try, though. That's right. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, nice that try. Yeah, yeah technically, you can't... Have you, you'd back. have to move Yeah. in order to attack. So. Well, no, no, no. So if you're ready an yeah, action to move an attack and you don't take movement on your turn, that's fine. Movement's not an action. Movement's a part of your turn. Yeah. So... They can move up to it and kill it. That's what we were waiting to do, an ambush. Ambushes would be impossible if that weren't the case. Yeah, but my head sure. action was to make the rope tight. So. No, it's not an action. That's a speak a word. That was ready. Um, I'm going to say we're probably going to have to move into the initiative for this. It goes to Chi again still. It's, it, yeah. Alright, here. Ed, what was everyone else's held actions? Did they do them? Yeah, I already did mine. No, yep. uh, moving up and beating him. So. But mine wasn't, mine wasn't dependent on him falling. Mine was dependent on him being in 30 yeah. feet of me. Mine was okay. him falling. And I'm going to burn a second level spell slot. That's what I'm talking about. The thunderous smite should be three d six. I need your attack roll as well. Mm. Oh no, not thunderous smite. I'm doing divine smite. Yeah. yeah, I need your attack roll first. I did. Sure. Of a blow, hammer of storms. It, you're rolling to yourself. Oh, uh, you roll to yourself. Oh, what's the roll? You can just tell me. So twenty two. Twenty two and fourteen. Oh yeah, Six so that works. How much damage? Six. Okay. So you slam into it for six plus the Divine seventeen slide. radiant. No, that that those three d eight were actually from the. Uh, oh, the that's from before. Make sure you roll to me. Yeah. Yeah, my, that's my fault. roll to all. Uh, Divine smite, second level. Forty eight. 
48. Twenty-nine, and then you said you thunderous smited. Thunderous smited for two d six. Two d six. Hot damn! So no thirty. Question: um, For that, the next amount of damage you are, um, uh, whatever. Does that transfer to all the damage, or is that just one type of the damage? The next time you or your ally hits your target, that cur that was cursed. The creature has vulnerability to all of that attack's damage, and then the curse ends. Okay, cool. So thirty. Awesome. So I double six. all that thirty plus thirty-six, so seventy-two points of damage in one attack. In one attack, as you slash this radiance, you see its form sort of just almost wither more so as uh, Seth is, is seems to be channeling something divine from his holy symbol. Is it still alive? Uh, yeah. He gets a second tag. <laughs> <Nope>. <laughs> Sorry. I just wanted to add, we have two more to go through. This is bad. To... Action economy. Um, you gotta roll me that attack. Oh, inspiration. I'm throwing my inspiration. I haven't used it in ever. This is a good time for it. I don't need, I want this. All again. right. So, so 19 hits. 19 and 12 bludgeoning. Fuck it. I'll burn my last second level spell slot for another divine smite. Yes. Because if we can kill one. Awesome. So, so does that your ability transfers to first. the next attack as well, or just, just the first one attack? Just the first. Okay. One. All right. So you slam it down your uh, hammer, and it just brings out with this divine energy. You bring it down again on its head, and smash even deeper this time. It is still alive. And I am... Finish um, it. Yeah. So... Um, it looks like it's pretty much begged. Like a... If it has one exact hit point, the tradition is to say it's shattered. If it it's doesn't... It's not that. It's still better than that. All it's right, not just shattered. Making, just making sure. At, yeah. at this point, the thing's going, man, I shouldn't even get out of fucking bed this morning. It's starting to get up and getting ready. I do got you already uh, run out into range with your prepared action and rage and rage correct and we are going to uh don't pass the rope back up one so 95 damage and that took nice you did 95 damage in one turn man still not my record but i've done 102 damage with one hit what, what level character were you <laughs> You're a level six and character. Is uh, raging, so that's going to be plus two damage to that as well for my kit. first hit, and then going to be my second one now. Yeah, fifteen and very 10. nice. So both nice. those hit. You chat it with the first one. You slam uh, <laughs> your great axe into the side, uh, carving out part of the eye, and you watch as that other eye looks towards you, just as you spin around and slam your axe into that side you hear yeah, it just give it one last uh, and it slumps oh, down to the ground giant. um so it's dead on top of the other one that is also um but oh, there's two more the currently sense. approaching bit of a difficulty crossing over it or seeing the rope that's still taut <laughs> yep it's gonna have to go around which is still ice over there and then the rope's still there so. <laughs> the plan's working perfect how is this like watching the keystone cops <laughs> they're undead giant stupid heads we can uh, do this anything else do you got i'd say you'd still have your movement as your movement was pre uh, prepared action <laughs> I'm gonna just back up a couple feet and then just uh, <laughs> dodge. 
<laughs> oh, no action, yeah. Uh, you'd have no action, but you'd have, be able to move and anything with a bonus. You can also move around the corner of that home if you wanted a little bit of cover. Cool, I'm there. Okay, and real quick, before Shadow goes, we're still going off the reactions, right? That was just the reaction thing. Uh, I'm not going to give you guys like this full ambush because you can't have the movement and the attacks. Okay, if that's your ruling, that's fine. Yeah, it's also because these guys came prepared for battle. If they saw Shadow, you're not going to be able to move and them not notice you all of a sudden and sure. have them not swing at you. Sure. It would be different if they were just walking by dumbly. They came because sure. of the disturbance. Right, but they still fell for the trap. So the goal was. They, well, yeah, he still ate That's shit. Fine. Like, he rolled a five. It was great. That's what I wanted. Shadow, you're oh. off in a corner, hidden. Can I, yeah. can I rewind a second? Sorry. I hate to be that guy since, you know, we're not getting the full ambush. I want to make sure I get every single bit of, uh, you know, worth I got. Um, I didn't have sure. to spend my inspiration because the fucker was on his face. He already had it. That's true. Take it back. Take it back. Good deal. Definitely take that back. Yeah, need every little bit of fucking worth we got. Yep. We're not dying. Uh, Shadow will step out. And the rope is still taut? Uh, it's taut, but it's a little bit um, sort of angled as he fell into it and probably weighs a thousand pounds, but it carved into his form. So yes, we'll say yes. Okay. Um, so they're, And they're just definitely running at us, right? Uh, yes. Okay, I'm going to use two shots of Ring of the Ram on the one that is, I guess, uh, up and to the right. Okay. Roll me the attack roll for it, please. Ugh, this rolls, these wow. rolls. It's so good. You've been rolling real bad. I, I have inspiration, so I'm going to go ahead and You could spend use it. it. That. Um, so that'll hit. Yeah. And then, so I get, here's what I get. I get one more uh, a damage, which is yeah. 2d10 plus 4. Just roll it again. Okay. That works too. And then I get sneak attack, right? Uh, no, because this is not technically a finesse or a light weapon. Right. Uh, it is a... Uh, it, you don't get sneak attack. Okay. Because yeah, it's a magical effect, you would not yeah, get yeah, yeah. sneak attack. Okay. Uh, but 32 points of damage as well as this thing gets knocked back. Am I correct? Um, pushed five feet from you. Yeah. Yeah. For every charge. So, so it's 10 feet. So 10 feet. Total. So 10 feet. So you watch as Shadow comes around, aims the ring of the ram at it. A much larger flies out this time. Uh, Seth's billowing cloak in the memory of this inspires you to aim it just that much better. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it flies out, uh, striking this uh, zombie in the head. It lurches back, almost stopping, uh, but is beginning to wind up again and head straight with cheese. Should have aimed for his nuts. In its uh, eyes at this point. And it will just move back out of the way. I'm pretty sure that thing can't see me. <laughs> I got two bodies in front of me. Uh, Seth. Yo. Um, I totally missed the giant's turn last time, but that's cool. <laughs> they moved up and biffed. Uh, uh, not the other two. <laughs> well, they probably weren't working or walking together like that. No, they were really shocked when they saw their buddy <laughs> fall down and all of a sudden get that little curb stompness to it his jaw got ripped off and their jaw yeah they were just dropped. like "Ooh, do we really want to do this hmm. let's see let's see la 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 i am going to uh, thinking um I'm going to stand behind Chi uh, distance. I'm going to move out behind him um, and kind of like say to him, 
just back up a bit so we have the line, see if they fall for it again. Um, that's just me speaking. And then... Well, they're going to be going before me, so... No, for sure. Um, but uh, uh, I'm actually going to stand here. Um, and I'm going to wait. And when both of them get uh, close enough, if they don't biff on the, the ice and the rope, I'm going to use... Uh, I'm going to not use turn and dead. I'll use my channel divinity. Um, I will cast uh, moving forward. I think I'll cast protection. Good for me. Yeah, I'll cast uh, that. I'll just I'll just cast that now on uh, Chi, and then I'll step back. Ooh. Uh, I don't have some concentration either. Huh. Yeah, I lost concentrate. I, I didn't even roll because you did 30-something damage to me. Oh, yeah, you would have lost have, that. I don't have Shield of Faith. That's Shield not, of Faith is definitely lost. Yeah. I think. It didn't get mentioned. He didn't get attacks, really, so it didn't matter until now. But, yeah, he's switched. Now it just has disadvantage on attack rolls against you. Sweet. All right. Adrian, or anything else uh, for Seth? Um, no, that's it for me. I'm good. Oh, uh, Billow. Bonus action. Yeah, bonus action, Billow. You begin to billow your cloak as you uh, channel a little bit of your divine energy towards <sighs> She You can see this brightness begin to shine off him, though mostly ethereal as to not illuminate him too I much. I wish I could back up my turn just for a second. <laughs> it poses. I keep forgetting I got this feature that after I cast a first level or higher spell, I could fly 10 foot up. They don't mind playing T-ball with you. Yeah. Um, Adrian, what are you doing? It would make me have to kind of run at you and kind of dunk touch you to get that spell cast, so it's a good thing you forgot. Yeah. I'm going to run here. Well, I was thinking if I was 10 foot up, they'd be looking at me and not down at the ground. I need to quickly... Oh. Quickly, uh, quickly what? I lost you there. Just quickly checking. Oh, oh fuck. And then I'm going to bonus action dash down this little alley. To here and hide. Like a little bitch. Alright. Um... <laughs> I have a plan. I'm a man with a plan. Sure. Uh, what was the first thing you did? Did you shoot a dagger? Uh, no. Movement, run. Okay. Bonus action, dash. Action, okay. hide. All right. Give me your uh, stealth, please. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if there's one thing I can do, it's hide. Do yeah. I think you hid in the next in the next campaign? <laughs> it's a good thing you're quiet. Uh, anyways, um, so this guy's tootles. I'm gonna have these guys. Uh, they're gonna move up. Both of them picking up rocks as they go. Not quite making it to the rope and ice yet. They're going to throw it at one at Chi. The other one would have to throw at, I believe that is Seth out in the open. Hateful. Man, there's so many rocks in the ground. I didn't even notice them. But they're just ripping them right out of the stall. Oh, oh they're just ripping it right out of the side of the street. Because, yeah. Sure. It has disadvantage against uh, the first target you named. So you're oh, right. Hated. I'll just roll it again. Yeah. Uh, 23 or 22 hit you, Chi. Um, no, because I want to burn a first, first level spell slot for shield. Nice. This giant rock flies at you as it pulls it out of the ground and launches it towards you. Uh, you just in time bring up this shield of blue energy and are able to prevent it from striking your form. Uh, for you, Seth. Yeah. Set these all to roll, too. Um, uh, even with 
a little bit of cover that won't matter. Uh, yeah, that rock slams into your form. It just gives you 19 points of bludgeoning damage as it pulls that rock out from the side of these roads here. Rock hits me. I kind of become enveloped by it for a second. Cloak's still just yeah. fluttering, and I go... <laughs> but your cloak still billows. Oh, it's, yeah, it was billowing underneath the okay. rock. Okay, you're, you're definitely Dr. Frankenfurter. <laughs> uh, I'm not wearing... I'm not wearing fishnet. Like, I don't know what Hadrian's doing on his turn now. He's got putting the sky me in self. fishnet, or imagining me in fishnet. Well, I got the sky set if I could do both. Oh, fair enough. I'll take it. Chi, <laughs> Chai. Uh, I'm going to back up and hope to bring them with me. Yeah, they're just gonna pick up more rocks. I, guess, I assume they have infinite ammo. Pretty much, this is a cavern that had a natural disaster to it. Got it. Yeah, I get you. I'm not. I'm not well, saying. I don't want to go. I'm not saying. Don't want to go on a bad thing. Oh, sure. <laughs> I mean, but as I'm backing up, I will. Uh... It's a bad thing for us. Yeah. It's not say, I'm not saying it's a bad uh, run of it. I, I, I get it. It makes sense. Send a fire bolt at that one. Sure, absolutely, that'll hit as you lance it with some fire. Uh, your bolt strikes out, hitting it in the chest, uh, dealing the 12 points of fire damage, but you can see this thing just, it's but a scratch as it was before when you struck fire on that first one, and it's continuing forward. That's fine. I'm just trying to he's, get this way. And he's still protected, by the way. Yeah. Are you uh, going up in the air at all? No. Oh, well, yeah. No, because that wasn't the first level spell. Oh, right. Dugat, you went into this home and hid a little bit. Uh, they aren't at the rope, are they? Not yet. Okay. Uh, they're just on the cusp of the ice at this point. Oh, man. Can I take cover behind this, or is this not? Uh, cover behind the house? Uh, I said that one had all the walls kind of knocked out of it. We'll say the south wall is still there. Why not? Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and stay there and uh, ready the action. If they fall to hit, I don't think... Well, I wouldn't be able to move, so... Well, unless... yeah, just hold. Just say you hold. And you'll take your yeah, initiative sure. after they fall. And then uh, dodge. Uh, you would be able to dodge, you, too, if you're holding your you attack dodge. action, that's your action. Okay, yeah, all right, sorry, my bad. I'll hold. No, that's all right, I got what you wanted to do. Typhon better hope I don't die, because I think this camp executes unsecured pets. <laughs> Shadow. Shadow, a bonus action hide. Okay. Are you just ducking into the shadows? Well, I yeah, um, so I, I guess I was out of the way, but I'm not sure if I'm hidden where I am, or so I'm going to give you your call on that. Um, you wouldn't have been hidden per se. Um, you could hide now, but what are you wanting to do? Well, I, I want to hide and then pop out and attack and gain sneak attack as gotcha. a result. Yeah, so uh, you would have to st uh, give me a stealth roll. You wouldn't sure. have been hidden. They would have seen you run back there and kind of okay. given it. Uh, this will be a matter of you slipping into a shadow, we'll say. Mm -hmm. Say because you're along the cave wall there, you're able to find a large stone in which you're able to kind of slip behind. And they're utterly focused on the two that are in front of them. Great, so then I will pop out of that shadow and fire at the one directly in front of me to the right sure. for my crossbow. Let me attack roll, please. Yes. Mm. You have advantage. Yeah, 20 have hits. Advantage. So roll me the sneak attack, please. As you pop out, you take aim into the upper portion of this giant's head. Okay. It flies out, striking it just below the neck. Uh, 
buries in a few inches, you're able to hit a soft spot for sure. I will move back out of the way. Okay. Out of view. Perfect. Uh, Seth. Yeah, I'm going to go hang out behind this wall here. And uh, cast Cure Wounds on myself. Three, two. Just first level. Yay. Oh. Cool. Um, and I'll bonus action drink a potion. Sure. Yeah. Patron. Mercer, what are you doing? I'm going to come out here. Oh, they are. Oh, <laughs> hello. <laughs> um, you come out stealthily, stealthily and you look... Sneak attack. And I'm... We'll say your stealth is still up as you sneak forward and are kind of glancing upwards. Not anymore, it's not. At burn, least. baby, burn. He's just igniting. Da, 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 da. All right, the dexterity save, they eh? Heck yeah, that's the wrong window. I don't know if I get sneak attack on spell because I can't. Nope. Nope. I don't think I did. Aha! Uh, all right, you sneak out and you, you actually say, aha! And a 15 foot cone of uh, flames gout from your hand. Um, Bonus action. Dash and run away. Sure, we'll just say you're in range. Uh, and then I fuck off again. Sure. I've done my part. Oh, <laughs> So as the flames just burst from your fingertips, you watch as they kind of ignite their shins a little bit, their old boots that have weared and teared with the 500 plus years that have passed. Maybe even longer the way these ones look ragged. Uh, you duck away just to back into hiding, hoping that they don't follow. <clears throat> It's called hit and run tactics. It's how you live. Alright, so this one is going to keep running forward. Let's see what happens here. Why not? Okay. Ten, I'm going to say that's enough for it not to slip. And for the rope, I'm going to say that this guy does trip on the rope. But due to the force of the fall, it is going to knock the rope out of this. Uh, breaks so it off it, the side. Okay. Yeah, basically just breaks it off the side. So it's no longer tight. Uh, but this giant is now prone. Do God, you will get a Smack. attack of opportunity. Very well, not attack of opportunity, your uh, reaction or action to attack, sorry. Two attacks. So okay. First swing, one. you definitely slam into its form. And don't forget to add the two damage because I am so raging. Yes. And missed the second one. It's prone. It's prone, oh, so you hit it. Prone. it. 24. Awesome. Um, even though it has fallen, it is going to get up. It is going to, for one, strike at you, Dugat, and then it is also going to take a swing at Chai. So, Dugat... Oh, bye, Felicia. Good ha thing you're raging. Half, half, yeah, 49. As it hits you, you're going to take um, 24 I points. I have my bear spirit, so half damage. Yeah, and raging just normal would have blocked half damage, too. So 24 Sorry, is what you take. 24 points of uh, slashing damage um, as you're able to resist it. Chai... 19 versus AC. Uh, I believe your, sh your shield's still up, actually. Yeah, that only lasts your a turn. 
shield. Well, I have a natural AC of 22 without the... Right. Oh, cool. And it had disadvantage on its attack against she too, just to throw on more water or salt on it. Yeah. Sure, this one is nice when you got to... adamantine full plate and. Oh, yeah, so it doesn't hit anybody's uh, deck save as it's moving across the ice, has no problem uh, moving across the ice, and it is going to get uh, within melee of you. And great axe. Uh, I gotta put this on roll too. Sorry. My orchestra I can't use again until rest, right? I can so, use it once. Four. Yeah, I'll burn that. La I'll burn my last first level spell. Oh no! Actually, your great axe. You, uh, if whenever you roll a crit, you get that uh, fury. Oh, that wouldn't. Wait, is that him swinging at me? Yeah, twenty-four yeah, with the disadvantage. I'll burn, I'll burn my first level spell slot for shield again. Which I give me five to my AC. So. Sure. Add that to your AC as it's going to swing again. Twelve. Yes. Did you say I should have gotten that Orcus Fury? Yeah. So yes. another... Or five. Nice. Oh, wait, no, you wouldn't have got that. The Orcus Fury. That's only on crits. Sorry. Yeah, you gain it back if you crit. Yeah. You didn't crit. Ah. Yeah, that's what he's saying. Sorry, I just looked up and saw my crit. Um, try. All right, so the one in front of me looks the most hurt, right? Um, the one directly north of you, yeah. He's slightly more hurt than the other one, though they both look like crap. All right, so... <clears throat> um, Yeah, why not? Bonus action. Oh, no, wait, that's an action. Never mind. I thought that was a bonus action for some reason. All right, I hit the one in front of me. Okay, 19 will hit. Six points. And I'll hit it again. All right, so you hit it twice uh, with your hammer, slamming it into the knees twice, uh, both making these loud cracking sounds that kind of echo within this small cul-de-sac you guys are currently in. Um, deal 16 points of damage. Okay, and I believe I'm done. Do got. Um, I'm going to, uh, swing, swing. Money ain't no thing. Um, anybody have inspiration? No. Negative. Um. Is there a thing up in the top corner? Yes or no, Jody? No, but I was okay. just, I thought I had, uh, um. He's since gone up. No, you have to recklessly attack. Again, it's been a while since you played. You just have to state yeah. that before you attack. Okay, the DM sorry. can decide whether or not that he will let you go back on that, but that's... I'll let you go back if you wanted to recklessly. Okay, yeah, that's what my plan Remember was. Remember they get advantage easier. on you. Yeah, you're going yeah, to okay. hit me easier, but... Yeah. I'm going to hit you regardless, though. Uh, <laughs> that's a perfect time to do it. Um, for those two attacks, because those attacks... Wow. Are Wow, worst. that is so amazing. So, uh, you come twice with your great axe, swinging hard on your first one, dealing that 10 points of damage up into its thigh. Uh, you come with another underhand from the opposite side, skinning a bunch off and burying it kind of into its hip, uh, withdrawing it as black ichor kind of spraying out across the ground here. Nice. Sexy. I'm thoroughly aroused. Okay, so um, who's next? Shadow. Just 
just deciding if I can get to the one to the north. Well, they're big. We can just shoot right. them. I, I, I want to get in for melee, I think. More chance of hitting. Second attack. Yeah, if you use your uh, cat thing. I, I also wanted to get enough movement to move away. I think I could do that. Cat He'd thing. already have used his cat thing once. Line agility. Yeah, I did. You could sh technically shoot, see if you hit, and then if you miss, then you can go into melee and. Well, can I? Can I shoot and then melee? Well, see why not? Can you? No. Fuck it. Let's go. <laughs> or yes, he's the DM. Go. Do it. Fine. Uh, okay. It's way shoot. cooler. Slow. Okay. It sneak is a attack. big map, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, roll me some sneak attack. Nice, nice. Double, so 14, 28 plus. So you're aiming for the one closest or first? Yeah, plus tw so 28 plus 24. Well, hold on. No, no, no. Don't double the damage from the, Don't the crossbow. Double the... Just the sneak Yeah, attack. that's already. Right. It's already. Right. Oh, just the sneak. So okay, okay, sorry. Plus the 14. Nice. And that's the one closest to you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I, I can't reach the one behind, right? you got aim on it. It's big. It, You'd have a... Okay, well, if, I, if I have aim on it, I would want to reach this one because I know it's more damaged. Okay, sure. So, 24 and 14, 38. Nice. And then maybe duck behind here and bonus action hide. Okay, you gotta give me a stealth check, please. Sure. Everything seems really slow. Okay, I think I'm hidden. Sure. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and hit the not as wounded one, the one that's. Uh, directly east of me with a ray of enfeeblement. I just rolled to myself like an idiot, so I'm going to... It's a 26, but I'm going to go sure. ahead and... Okay, it's a crit, but you can't really crit on this spell because it doesn't do damage. Mm -hmm. um, it just... What it states is, if I hit it, um, the target deals only half damage with weapon attacks that use strength until the spell ends. Spell lasts for a minute. Um, it is concentration. Um... Oh, it's the concentration spells that dick me. I think you're going to not mind the disadvantage going away if you're taking less damage if it does hit you. So I'm going to go ahead and drop the protection. Okay. And this will affect or work for everybody. So yeah, that one's dealing half damage. At the end of its turn, um, its next turn, it can make a constitution saving throw at DC 14 to drop the effect or last for a minute. Sounds good. What's so that stone I have, dude? Uh, the Cyric stone? Yeah. Um, it should already have a cantrip added to your thing. That's all it does. So yeah, if you, what did it do? If you see a cantrip that's on your sheet that you didn't put on there, I put it on there, and uh, that's what the spell, that's what the, the thing does. Oh, okay. Yeah, Shadow should have one too, I think. Uh, I don't know. You should have a spell just sitting there. So. Oh, uh, I do. Holy crap. As Shadow had just dodged to the right, taking aim with his bow, releasing a bolt uh, expertly aimed that flew into the furthest giant's head. Uh, Seth, you come out and fire this dark ray at this creature, causing it to kind of shudder for a moment. You can see it just visibly slumped. Yeah. Seemingly taking effect with the weakness. Oh, and then a little bit of this action where I just kind of move back uh, one step. Just so I can see Chi just a little bit. Um, but it just so it, it has to do a lot more work to try and get to me. Sure. I'm not a fan of how much they like me over everybody else. Trying to avenge Chad. <sighs> hey, Adrian. <laughs> Yo, Adrian. 
Yo, Andrew. Yeah. Going on this way. Bonus action dash. This is gonna suck so much. To there. And then Thunder Wave. Uh, sure. Yeah, that won't hit anyone. That includes me. I think that it, yeah. Mm. 15 foot cube originating from him. So basically, he can set it up so it, uh, no, no. corner it. What did that say? So 13 plus 5, and it was 14 plus 5. The big rolls were first. Let he me. would be able to miss it. He could just cast it straight out to the side, and it would hit both of them. Yeah, and miss Chi. Right. And miss Chi. Yeah. It, he had a fine. Um, so they both make their save. So they're going to take half damage, and neither of Adrian's last action. Because it's going to be his last action that he will ever make. It's just a shout. Remember me! <laughs> um, I have, do you come back? I'm going to say back from one each of these guys. Because I'm that kind of DM. 22 for 32 points of damage. And 20 for 37 points of damage. Holy crap. Wait, which one's attacking? Um... That would be one of each of them. It must be down. And they're attacking who with advantage? Uh, sorry, they shouldn't have advantage. Never mind. So 13, this was a 13 the plus first. Four. The first one's right. The second one's wrong. The second one's a second miss. One's oh, it's a 2 plus 3 yeah. plus 6. Not so that hit. second one does not hit you. I need to pull that off. Sorry. Thank goodness, because that was the most damage. So you're going to take 32 points of slashing damage. And which one was attacking? The top one? Uh, that was at one from each of them. I'm just running, rolling them at the same time. Okay. Uh, that was at. Uh, yeah, that would have been the top from top to bottom. That would have been the one that's not in field. Yeah. I've lost sight. Yeah, where did you go? I think you might have deleted my token. I, I think his token. I deleted. think I think I accidentally deleted your token. I'm sorry. You got hit so hard, you died. You <laughs> got hit so hard. Just, uh, just. Is that me getting hit? Just yeah. Just you drag, only took one of those. Just drag him back and put him down. Uh, yeah, I just gotta find him. Oh, not you. He should be able to do it. I brought him. Bing. So yeah. the first one hits you. The second one doesn't. Yeah, you have to put his light source back on. I'm sorry. I think that was my fault. So you take 32 points of slashing damage. Uh, the other one is going to... Can I uncanny dodge? Absolutely you can. So you'll take half of that for 16. Uh, I'm, this no one... long... I'm not going to be on one health, guys. Uh, never mind. Uh, Dugot, that one is to you as the top one makes its second strike. And uh, this one is for... Cheese. So this one's at disadvantage. No, it's not. Uh, oh, it doesn't have protection still. No. Oh, I've right. It's enfeeblement. Right. Switched it. So that would so, actually. Uh, actually, that one does hit you, but it deals half eleven damage. points of damage. Eleven points. Is of that damage, to so. me or is, who's that to? Uh, the first one, the twenty-six, is against you. You're talking uh, ten. Oh, actually, that would have been an advantage. Fuck it. I don't care. Um, for 20 points of slashing, half to ten. Okay. Uh, the other one is to Chai, uh, who 18, I don't even think. Or the eight, it hit will you. hit you. It actually does. I the dice roll, roll was 18. Oh, yeah. that's right, yeah. Um, but you only take 11 points of slashing damage due to its enfeebled form. And it gets to make a save against that now? Or does it have to do it yes. as an action? At the end of its turn, it can make a saving throw against it. DC 14 constitution check. And it should have had disadvantage, right. but it's still... Oh passes. my goodness. I hate... I just go up to, set go, up to roll go two. Go up to the cog, and then click it on the left, and then go to roll two and just select it there. That way you don't have yes. to... Keep doing this bullshit. bullshit. Exactly my point is for the roll two thing. It's It's just... It's just easy breezy, beautiful cover girl. It's what um, I always use, but I haven't done any of the sheets. It was one of the things I meant okay. to do. It's okay. No worries. You got work in Shiite. Makes sense. 
Where's Roll 2? Um, but yeah, next turn. That was their turn. All right. So Try. The one in front of me. Guys, we're about to kill four of these things. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Though the DM was a little kind and kind of missed two turns. <laughs> yeah, they were walking up on us. So Not fast. Sixteen points of damage. Uh, one right in yeah. front of you. You just wham. He was on his last leg. I'm we're falling off of him. You kind of roll up and hit him right in between the. Uh, nutters there, and it just shatters his pelvis, and his form just kind of crumbles to the ground. That's what you call the banana splitter. Gross. Uh. Oh, sorry. He says that to nobody because he's back in the corner cringing, just like, I have been beaten so hard. All of the bones in my body are, are broken. If I didn't have uncanny dodge, I would pretty much be dead. Yeah. It's okay, I've revivify, so. <laughs> Someone that could have yeah. been outright splatted, if it wasn't me, they were going to be fine. Damn, oh, I can't murder him. <laughs> you gotta keep me alive. I'm the best. Alright, sorry. Just give this stuff. Shut up. Uh, your second attack goes against the other one. Uh, slams into its uh, upper thigh. You can hear the loud resounding crack once again. Uh, this one, though, seems to be well within healthy limits, and it seems to have come back to a little bit more of a revived state. <laughs> well, a little less uh, saggy, I guess. Do got Climb over that body, bro. <laughs> yep, we're going to move over here. Sure, just give me an athletics roll to see how cool I'm a body. Real. Oh, it's super cool. Like, you just jump right over. <laughs> and then if I'm coming down, back. I'm going to try to bust him in his head. Um, can I do, since I am kind of doing it, honestly, reckless again? Yep. Cool. I want to do that again then. Yeah, so 26. You definitely crack it across the head. And as you're coming down, you kind of hit it down toward the upper thigh and into the pelvis and smash into its form, uh, dealing the 27 plus 4, 31 points of damage. Um, uh, I can't. That would be an action to take out a, a potion drink. Uh, we so. do bonus action. We go with the Matt Mercer rules on this one. Okay, um, John, should I use uh, one of my potions? Oh, please. Or, so, I, I didn't know if I could do it in this game. You're scratching, so. you're scratching, you're scratching, you're scratching. Sorry. Oh my god, that is the yeah. most aggravating thing ever. So oh, I have these ears. weird, I have these weird potions. Can I use them in your game or? No, well, yeah, you, you can. I just, I haven't put the charts as to what it does. I, I have them over here. I haven't typed them in, so just go ahead and sure. Roll. Use them. Yeah, John can let us know. Okay. For some reason, my mic on my laptop doesn't takes in all the signal and not my headset. That's great. Okay, so I gained seven hit points, and John, do I roll D one hundred? Yes, please. Let's get crazy. Wonder what it does. I wonder what it does. Sorry, hold on. Um, I'm so excited. Um, something good, something good, something good. <laughs> it regains all your hit points. You uh, you you start sweating like a lot. Um, uh, so. <gasps> So, so much so that like the, uh, the the ground around you is starting to like kind of fill with water, and you're just sweating like crazy. Like it's just a, an insanely gross amount of sweat that is coming off of your body. <laughs> um, for the purposes of 
um, that basically what that applies to just a simple one. Um, if you ever try to, uh, or if you ever fumble, um, your weapon is dropped to your feet or whatever you're holding is dropped to your feet. And also I'm hard to grab. And when you're being grappled, you have, uh, they have disadvantage against you for grabbing. Yeah. Sweet. Right. So is that any fumble? Any fumble he makes. Yeah. He drops his shit. Is that including like, if he's doing an intel? Just squeaks out like a bar of soap. Yeah, or is that all the attack <laughs> no, no, rolls? I, I didn't word it very well in my writing, so uh, yeah. If if you roll a um, a one on anything, you just oops, it drops. If the you soap. think too hard, it just slips out of your hand. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Oh, this okay. is this is why my potions are oh, awesome. And it, it, awesome. It lasts for one hour. Oh, oh God. God. Uh, yeah. he's had it i sweat real bad he's had he had one where he like just grew a bunch of like just leaves and branches on him like goofiness yeah it's it's it, the potions he made were um very uh wild magic potions that were created by a fellow named herbifarge who he trained like in alchemy from yep and now i make them they're great and those are the drugs that i'm addicted to Ooh, dark. Yeah. Potions. Can I get some? They sound fun. He's just sweating like a freaking gross. I'm addicted to roofies. <laughs> um. <laughs> and uh, that will be my turn. Shadow the kitty cat. Shadow moves in. Slash, like token slash got deleted. Slash. What? Because my token got deleted. The my... lights off, yeah. I'm... Oh no, I'm out of the turn order. Uh, oh. Uh, you are right before staff or right after, I believe. I believe I had eight, so after Seth. Yeah, I think he he was the last one to go before the Giants. Before the Giants. Yeah. All right, so 27 definitely hits. Come in for your stabby stab. And... Uh... Dragging it across the thigh, you definitely feel the six points of the sneak attack, 21 points. Uh, your second dagger, as you try and uh, plunge it in, though, does not. Oh, is that plus one? No, yeah, it's included. Uh, that second one does not hit, though, mm -hmm. unfortunately, as you go for the same spot and you just contact bone and are able, unable to pierce the hefty bones of this giant. Sure, so we will sort of just go back right there. Uh, using disengage? Um, I don't need to. Yeah, I'm a swashbuckler. Oh, yeah. This, this one. I know, it's, it's kind yeah, of... Yeah, if you hit them, you get, to, you get to move away without provoking attack. That's awesome. Right. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna go need to hit. hit him with a. Let's go with Toll the Dead. I am trying to click it. Hold on. No problem, as you're showing uh, your divine powers. Yeah. It takes, uh, it'll take the 2d12 necrotic damage, so the 17 if it fails its wisdom save. Oh. Yeah. 17 points of necrotic as it this yeah it's undead but does it have the resistance it does not i didn't design it like that but come on zombies don't have it either actually like I, nope, it, they don't it's really weird fifth edition but it's fine Take you 17. just watch as it's already rotten rotting form you watch as the meat begins to slough off the face and you see this dark ooze begin to come from the ears this low hum donging sound. D Dolores bells dong dong dong. And also, you know what else you see? My cloak starts billowing. <laughs> <Don't>. mm. <laughs> you also see my huge dong, right? It comes out. Great. Hey, Jim. Fuck you, pop. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> 
You're really bad at this fighting thing. So you go and you swing, like, fuck you, and you just, you strike into a spot, but it just looks down at you. It doesn't even react to it. Just go time. Hey, mate, you don't want to kill me, do you? Just go time, Star Wars kid. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's some sick move. Anything else? I can't do anything else. I can scream like a little bitch, and that's about there's it. Lots of, there's lots that rogues can do, but if you don't feel like doing them, that's okay. He <laughs> uses bonus action to second attack. Oh, did he? Did he use both? Oh, I did not see that. Oh, there's nothing you can do, my little rogue. I can scream like a little bitch. That's As it. the great axe comes swinging down towards your form. That'll do it, but it only does Uncanny 13. Uncanny dodge? And then it half a 13. Sure. Uh, you uncanny dodge and you take 13 points of damage as the first one hits and you. But I'm going to say for the sake of fun, he wait, comes to you. Wait, 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 wait. Sorry, sorry. You take 13, half because of the Rave Enfeeblement, then you take half of 13 because of uncanny uh, dodge. Rave Enfeeblement, he passed his con save. Oh, then you still have the dot. That's why I was confused. Sorry. Oh, sorry. My bad. Oh, no. <laughs> So you take the damage, he said. So I'm, I'm sorry for cutting in. You're good. You're no problem. You're good. Yeah, so then you take the second attack, uh, which is 37 points of damage. What's your maximum That's hit points? Walk it off. That's instant death. Yep. He's dead. <laughs> He's dead. Oh my god! I have 33 hit points, and I have max hit points, and I have four hit points currently, so All instant right. death. Hey, you no. know what? It's not me. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> We have to revivify, right? I didn't think I'd kill someone. Oh, God. Yeah, you didn't. It's cool. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm going to get him back <laughs> up. <laughs> like... uh, Chai, you just watched as... And if it wasn't for the scream... <laughs> you wouldn't kind of... have done it. It's kind of a smudge. But you just watched as... Uh, Hadrian dodged the first one, just taking a glancing blow, this really deep red streak in his form, and he tries to jump again, but the wound is too great for him to do it, and it just slams into him, and it just, he's half carved open in this point, bleeding on the ground. You've seen death before, and Adrian is. What do you want to do? Okay, I've seen people kill, but that, that, that was pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> So this thing's still alive. Uh, did it kill him, kill him, or is it just unconscious? Outright dead. He's yeah, dead. That's what I thought. Okay, uh, I'm going to attack. Oh, that's going to miss. That definitely misses as you swing out as he's just cleaved down into your uh, gathered survey team member's form. Uh you aren't able to gain contact. You just straight up they strike a bit of leather that was left off of its rotting form boot. And I'll attack again. And that's going to miss again. Oh, that's a, that's a roll one. I, that's no good. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Got to roll a d20. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to say that your hammer is, like, over here now. Like, you go and swing, and it just, like, some of Dugat's sweat got on you, and it just, like a bar of soap. <laughs> okay, bonus action. I'm calling my hammer back to you. Oh, I love you. Oh, boo! <laughs> I should have had you hit him. Anyways, Dugat, what you doing? Uh, let's go uh, reckless again. Let's keep swinging on this guy. Uh, give it to me. Oh, that hits. Roll oh. me one more. Oh, oh wow. wow. Okay. There. I haven't done it with this group yet, but how do you want to do it, my friend? <laughs> and that's also with my Orcish Fury now, right? The, the, oh, yeah, you can have that damage. Don't worry about it. Like He's saying you're, you go for it. Tell him how you do it. Tell me how you kill him. Oh, um, I bring up my axe, and I yell that this will avenge my friends, and just swing in the first round, and then keep spinning around and just swing again and crush it right into the front of his skull. Sure. I'll say you kind of swing it down and you hit it with such force in the leg that it actually kind of drops it to the ground down to its hands and knees. And as it looks up to you, you're still 
in mid spin and you just bring it up into its face and you don't cleave right through but you cleave halfway in and then you do a sickening little twist as you just pop like a third of its skull and okay. what are left of brains right off as i'm begins. spinning you see my hair and the sweat flying off it like those oh, when you jump out. Oh, of no, just... oh, no. Like, like, chi is soaked. Chai is soaked right now. And, like, you just see hey, hey, <laughs> Adrian's dead body. dead body just covered, like, just wet. Like, it's I, really gross. I'm yeah. picturing in, like, 80s and 90s commercials with a woman coming oh, yeah. out of the water. And That's exactly what it is. That's what it is. Except he's a half orc who just carved the brains yeah. out of a giant. Like there's black shit everywhere. There's this I'm thoroughly nasty alive. sweat. Like it's so it's a gross. Good thing I wear a mask. Oh my god. But we... it's a good thing Shadow didn't see it at all. So besides, he would probably we... throw up. Besides Hadrian dying, we uh, succeeded, right? Uh yeah. Oh, here's the fun part. We succeeded and he didn't die. I cast revivify on him. Get back up. Yay! I look at him and no. I say, as he's as he's as he's coming back to life, he's, he's not sitting there. But when he comes back, I'm going to make sure he knows what I said. I say to him, stand the fuck up. I just walk away. <laughs> I look at him go, the guy did something tricky. I don't oh. know what he did, but he did something sneaky. Yeah, his his wound just, like, there's this big old axe blow in his chest. I put my hand on him and say some magic words, and you hear the words, Zadek Avedu. And he just, right back up. And, and Lewis isn't even here to see it. Not even here. Aww, sad. Not even here to realize he's not dead. Good job, everybody. We just killed four giants. That's awesome. You know how much experience I'm going to have to give you guys? All of it, please. Thank you. Oh, God. And I look at everybody. I look at Chi especially, and I say, I told you it would work. You guys have <laughs> literally accomplished nothing in this place but kill oh. giants that I'm going to replace hey. next week. No, 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 no. More. Well, here's the thing, though. I'll like, take, take 9,000 experience, please. The guy doesn't have an endless supply of giant corpses, I would hope, so, like, Maybe the guards at the front aren't going to be as bad. Well, you should look make, at one of my maps. I'm not going to make sure as as I'm not this is all said and done, and everybody moves away. I'm fireballing every one of these bodies. <laughs> well, yeah, so you cast a light little bit of flame on each one of these. Uh, what's everyone's level, so I can uh, quickly add up experience? Six, six. Yeah. seven. Looks like level five. Uh, Lewis is also five. I got two level fives, one level seven, and two level six. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm going to calculate your experience while I, we kind of wait for him. I, yeah, I would like to level, please. Uh, I'm sure that's not going to be a problem. I don't know. I'm pretty far off, man, but we'll see. Far off. I still have 9,000 points, but I just leveled it. Last two weeks ago, so. technically, this is two different encounters. So I'm just gonna break this down. Yeah, technically, my ass that was a hell of an encounter. I don't you know technically about it, <laughs> but you got to admit, we had a great plan. Oh, yeah, it worked. Oh, I got And I did, I did miss two giant turns, which could have no. severely turned this fight, but you know, to be fair, it was awesome. They would have only been like. 30 feet closer and like that first one that you missed was just the one guy so with they that, also that... would have had two throws of stone or no they wouldn't have had two throws of stone because everyone was hit yeah. that's true they just would have been closer yeah that's it. it it would have been slightly different but i think we would have all survived yep all yeah right. well you know time. except for lewis this is a fuck ton of experience by the way i'm cool with a fuck ton of experience when i first jump out I might be able to say it. No. So we need to divide that by five. Oh. If we go oh by God. Cobalt Fight Club. Yeah. Actually, it'd be four and a half because I think Lewis dying, he only gets half. The no, he's not dead. He did survive the encounter because he he may have died. I know, I was yeah. Making nice, a joke. nice try to get him out. That's not cool. <laughs> He got mad and he left and he left his thing up, man. He probably right. just went to go smoke a cigarette or go grab a food or take a No, yeah, just take a quick break. Yeah. Does anyone else need to bio quickly or smoke? 
Well, I'm going to let you guys yeah. know, like resource wise, I'm boned. Like I, I have one third level spell slot left. I have, I have no spell slots. I'm going to go get a water. And I'm pretty sure. Uh, he might have left because he's not on Discord anymore. It, he would have turned his computer off. He wouldn't have left his freaking oh, camera man. on. That's his bed too. Like where would he have gone? He's probably just, just away for a second. When he comes back, we'll tell him what's up. It's fine. What's so that divided by four? Five. Five, yes, so. Right five. There's five of those. Remember that time we fought four giants in one? Well, you know, there was one giant and then there was three giants. No, no, no. See, how addition works is one plus three is four. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, this isn't government math, okay? <laughs> We're not gonna. I don't want. The, I don't want the. I don't want you to show your work. I want and you to discovered the secret entrance to. It was great. <laughs> exactly. I was like, you know, I was a little worried. I was like, man, they make lock if they sneak around. Like I could be in trouble, and we we're just like, mm. we got busted, dude. It's cool. Like, but we also won the day and are gonna retreat out the same way we came. Um, because I'm going to be honest with you, I don't have much in the way of resources, Chai. Oh, you're all like empty. Yeah. Shadow. I'm, yeah. I'm good on. Add 125 to yours. Why is that? Because you gave me 125 a couple weeks ago. You. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Lewis, you have a hit point. I have a hit point? Yeah, I should see the spell that I cast on you right there. And when you got back up from the the land of the dead, which you would have actually seen a bit of, you probably didn't. Did you read uh, Tython dying? Uh, not really. Okay. Are you familiar with the game uh, Legacy of Cain Soul Reaver? No. Gosh, I'm really trying here. Basically, the near ethereal when you die and move on to it is just like the normal plane, except everything's green. You can see spectral lights where people are, if they're still about. And then up above you, there's a bright yellow light uh, that has weird metal wheels spinning in it. So you would have seen that and known you were dead. And then you get back up with no, you know, wound, just a scar. And my character says to your character, as he gets up off of you after bringing you back to life, he says, stand the fuck up. And then he walks away. Okay. So I think you did some hinky stuff. I'm going to check your body part. So you would be well aware that you were brought back to life by the guy you're not trustworthy of. So but I'm Hadrian's not... going to kind of have to change his opinion on gods, it seems. Also true. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't believe in him at all, but yeah. You know? Yeah, you essentially looked up into the green light and were beginning to float, and then uh, Seth literally grabbed you out and then shoved you back into your body and gave you one hit point. Your wounds healed. You're lying on the ground in a severe amount of pain. Stand the fuck up and then walks away. But a note, you would know that Seth is a religious guy. So if you are looking for some religious guidance, who better than a guy who freed you from jail and brought you back to life? I mean, I've saved you twice, if you think about it. What are the things of... we did this... One well, of the things we did discuss, though, when Hadrian got made was, would he want to be brought back? <laughs> Seth might have just fucked him even more. Seth. Yeah, if anything, Seth, is, Seth might have Seth made you never, upset. Seth was never in that conversation, but yeah, welcome back to the land of the living. Pick up a shovel. Yeah, and I get just had work. that conversation with Typhon. So. Chai, you collect your rope? Yeah, I'm doing it now. So, uh, take that off. And then I, I, I look at uh, the leader Chi, Chai. What I, I, people have been saying it back. My character actually looks at your character and he says, "He's calling you this and he's calling you that. What is it?" Uh, you can call me anything except late for dinner, I guess. Well, if we're not going to be late for dinner, but if you don't want. Chai. Okay, if you don't want me to call you late for dinner, we should probably head back to the camp. I don't really have much to carry on. Yeah, I'm out of spell. I'm out of, of magic. So likewise, yeah, let's go. Yeah, that took a lot out of me. I gesture over at Adrian. Did you guys already hand out experience? Yeah. It's... Yeah, fifty-four, sixty. I'm level six. So, that second encounter was very deadly. 
No shit. <laughs> I died. Hadrian doesn't oh. care. Like, is he like Tivian now with like that scar across his face? Oh, that'd be cool. Um, that would be really cool. Have fun with changes to that artwork. Digging. <laughs> It's not gonna be hard. There are Adding a scar. That. Not hard. I, I made um, Hawk, Hawk's character change from human to half elf and got a spiffy new sword and I added all that to him. I can do it. Yeah. How Hadrian just turns to whoever's nearest to him and he goes, How bad is it? As <laughs> soon as they point out the scar, he just turns as, as soon as like... they point out the scar. It's your scar. beard. Not the scar, my hair. My so, hair. How bad did it damage my hair? Well, real quick. Hair. Like, you ain't got no hair, dude. To be fair, like, if you don't want a scar, like, you know, Seth will come back over to you and administer some light or some other healing to make sure it, like, isn't really prominent so you're not tyrannizing it up or anything. Like, I can go full plastic surgeon if you want. If you're gonna oh, no, start... he's fine with the scar. It's just his hair that he cares about. Okay, your hair is fine. Yeah. <laughs> you right, got yeah. this nice scar from your beans all the way up to your collarbone, essentially. Look, you're still pretty. The sheep will still like you. Let's go back to camp. Yeah. Yeah, that, let's a, do that. That's a good turn of phrase. That says to, <laughs> to chi, chai, I mean. Um, anywho, yeah, we head back to camp. I'm going to go ahead and... Uh... All right. So when you're heading back to camp, I need to know a little bit of what you're doing. So you go into this house. Sneak. Are you taking the path you came in? Sneaking or heading... exactly the same way back. Okay. Um, you know how there are those houses? Like there was the gate and then there was like yeah. the wall and like there were those houses on the south side of it. We're yeah. basically just going from house to house, like moving like from each to each. It's looking out and then we're going. And then when we get back to the point where we can actually head back into the city proper, we just we just book it. All right. Uh, are you doing anything in regards to the house that you snuck in through as far as... Closing, closing the door behind the us, door. yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what I was curious about. So you replace the wood paneling uh, in order to somewhat hide it and then also uh, seal the stone door. Yep. So... We make it back, right? You make it back. Yeah. Uh, undisturbed, unperturbed. So you killed a bunch of giants. I have one. one. And I remember, I burned the body. Yeah. If we were so close to leveling. If we were at a real table, I'd seal the DM screen for a second. And I'd look at Lewis real quick. When you check the sword and like start looking at it, it's no longer a dagger. It's a short sword. And it also applies a plus one bonus to attack and damage. Woohoo! Can you change that for me? Because I'll pick it up somehow. Yep. And I'll even give you the new image card for it, too. It's longer. Yay! Yay. Um, at least at least him dying kind of gives me an excuse why he now decides to pick music as his passion over being a thief. Oh, yeah, for sure. And also, um, why you'd be best friends with uh, Seth Highland, you know, because... Uh, uh, fuck it. Screwed him. Yeah, he, he brought you back and uh, made your life worth living the song. I'm going to go ahead and kill the stream, though, on that note, because that's the truth.